Blessed is our God, always now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Glory to thee, O Christ our God, our hope, glory to thee. For the God, for the many, for the immortal mercy, and us for the God, for the many, for the immortal mercy, and us glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, for the love and unto you, Jesus, of Jesus, men. O Holy Trinity, have mercy on us, Lord, for grace, and our sins, Master, pardon our iniquities, holy one, visit and heal our infirmities, for the name's sake, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, for the love and unto you, the ages of ages, amen. Our Father, which art in heaven, tell it be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Lord, have mercy, 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 Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, for the Lord, and to you, the ages of ages of men. O come, let us worship and fall down before our King and God. O come, let us worship and fall down before Christ our King and God. O come, let us worship and fall down before him, Christ our King and our God. Have mercy on me, O God, according to the great mercy, and according to the multitude of the compassion, the blood of my transgression, wash me thoroughly from my iniquity, and cleanse me from my sin, for I know my iniquity and my sin is ever before me against you, and I sinned and undeceivable before thee. But my mind is be justified in their words, and prevail in our judge. For behold, I was conceived in iniquity, and the sins of my mother bear me. For behold, I was about truth, the goodness, secret things, so the wisdom also may manifest unto me. I shall sprinkle me with this up and I shall be made clean, I shall wash me, and I shall be made whiter than snow, that I may be to hear joy and gladness, and bones of your humble, they shall rejoice. Turn your face away from my sins, and blot out all my iniquities. Create me a clean heart, God, and renew thy spirit within me. Cast me not away from thy presence, and take not thy holy spirit from me. Restore to me the joy of thy salvation, with the governing spirit establish me. I shall teach transgressors the grace, and the ungodly shall turn back unto thee, deliver me from blood guiltiness of God, the God of my salvation, my tongue shall rejoice in thy righteousness. The Lord, thou shalt open my lips, and I shall declare thy praise. For thou hast desired sacrifice, I have given it with whole burnt offerings, thou shalt not be pleased. The sacrifice unto God is a broken spirit. A heart that is broken, humble God will not despise. Do good, O Lord, and make a pleasure in the sign, let the walls of Jerusalem be builded. Then shall thou be pleased with the sacrifice of righteousness, with the relation of whole burnt offerings, and shall be offered bullocks upon thine altar. Mm -hmm. Let us go in spirit to Aegina, for there where Dionysius and Nectarius shine as her two great lights. A third is now risen of equal brightness, with fiery rays of clairvoyance. He pierced the midst of forgetfulness, showing men their sins. And with Christ like compassion, he healed the hidden wound, and he received it with all and he received with love all who cried to him with faith. O righteous Father, Hieronymus, intercede that our souls be saved. O eagle of Anatolia, thou madest thine airy in Aegina, O initiate of the everlasting revelation and friend of Christ, O teacher of godliness and stream of grace, healing hearts withered in sin, O champion of holy tradition, an unerring guide to God, O God-bearing Hieronymus, intercede that our souls be saved. In the hills of Cappadocia, in churches cut out of the rock, thou didst engrave the image of prayer in the purity of thy heart. <coughs> 
and living a life of self-denial out of love for God that was filled with His grace and became as the saving pledge and surety of mercy for the repentant. Wherefore take us also into thy fatherly affections, O God inspired Hieronymus, heal the ailments of our souls and bodies, and make us heirs of the kingdom of God. Glory to the Lord, the fourth time. <clears throat> Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. Through thine unrelenting struggles of self sacrifice and prayer. O God, bearing Father, Thou hast completely filled with the Holy Spirit. The sight of Thee brought men to the fear of God. The sound of Thy voice pierced hearts with compunction. Thy words enlighten souls to cast off the slumber of negligence and to seek God with diligence. Thy life was the life of Christ, and while dying a painful bodily death, thou didst heal the souls of them that minister to thee. And now as thou standest at the throne of God in glory and boldness, O marvelous Hieronymus, importune him to save us who honor thee. Both now and ever, Both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Lady, do thou receive the supplications of thy slaves, and deliver us from every affliction and necessity. Ispolati despota. Holy God, the mighty, holy, immortal, and mercy on us. Holy God, the mighty, holy, immortal, and mercy on us. Holy God, the mighty, holy, immortal, and mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Both now and ever and every day, ages of ages. Amen. All Holy Trinity, have mercy on us. O Lord, be gracious unto our sins. Master, pardon our iniquities. Holy One, visit and heal our infirmities for thy name's sake. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, to both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, which art in the heavens, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts, as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Reaching forth with thy whole soul unto the Lord thy God, thou didst attend to the stature of the great fathers of old, striving after their humility and love for God. And as a sharer in their grace, thou discover with thy prayers the faithful that seek thy succor. And ever pray to the Savior, O blessed Hieronymus, that we be saved. According to the great mercy, we pray thee, Lord, can I have mercy? Mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Can we pray for pious and orthodox Christians? Mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Can we pray for Father Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. In honor of brotherhood in Christ. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Can we pray for every Christian soul that is afflicted and oppressed in need of God's mercy and help for the for the protection of them, for the protection of this sacred monastery and them that dwell therein, for the peace and tranquility of the whole world. For the good estate of the holy churches of God, with the salvation and help of our fathers and brethren, who with diligence and fear of God do labor and minister for them that are absent and far off, for the healing of them that lie sick and the repose, blessed memory and remission of the sins of all of our fathers and brethren, piously gone in the rest before us, and the orthodox here and everywhere laid to sleep for the deliverance of captives and for our brethren who are about their tasks. And all the minister and administered in the sacred monastery, let us say. Lord mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy. Again, we pray that this sacred monastery in every city, town, and countryside may be preserved from pestilence, famine, earthquake, flood, fire, sword, foreign invasion, civil war, and sudden death. And that our good and man befriending God may be gracious, favorable, and mild, that he may turn away all wrath stirred up against us. 
and deliver us from his righteous threatening which hangeth over us, and have mercy on us. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. May you may pray also that the Lord God may hearken unto the voice of the supplication of us sinners, and have mercy on us. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Hear us, O God, our Savior, the hope of all the ends of the earth, and of them that be far off at sea, and be gracious, be gracious unto us, O Master, and unto our sins, and have mercy upon us. For thou art a merciful and man, preferring God, and unto thee do we send of glory, to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, down to and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Glory to thee, O Christ. So God, I hope, glory to thee. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the age of ages. Amen. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy. Holy Master, bless. Christ, our true God, by the intercessions of his all immaculate and all blameless holy mother, our holy patron, John Maximovich, Archbishop of San Francisco, the wonder worker of the holy and righteous ancestors of God, Joachim and Anna, of our righteous Father, Yoran, and Moses of Egina, the holy Haramara Dionysius, the Areopagite, and our righteous Father, Dionysius, the recluse of the key of caves, whose memory we keep. And of our Father among the saints, John Chrysostom, Archbishop of Constantinople, whose liturgy we shall celebrate. Of all the saints, we have mercy on us and save us, for he is good and the friend of man. <coughs> Let us pray for the peace of the world. Lord have mercy. Orthodox Christians. Lord have mercy. Our Father and Archbishop Demetrius. Lord have mercy. 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 Lord
Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts, as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. The light is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Save, O Lord, thy people, and bless thine inheritance. Grant thou unto our monarchs victory over adversaries, and by the power of thy cross, to thou preserve thy commonwealth. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Thou wast raised up on the cross of thine own will, O Christ, our God. Do thou bestow the compassion upon this, thy new commonwealth, named after thee. Gladden with, the sovereign, gladden with thy sovereign might our most orthodox monarchs, and vouchsafe the victory over every adversary. And as thy help and war, may they possess the weapon of peace, the trophy invincible, both now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. O drip protection that cannot be put to shame, disdain not, O good one, our entreaties, O all him theotokos. Make steadfast the commonwealth of the orthodox. Protect those whom thou hast enjoined rule over us, and grant them victory from on high, for thou hast given birth to God, O, o only blessed one. Have mercy, O so God, according to thy good mercy, we pray thee, Lord, and have mercy. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. We pray for pious and orthodox Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. And we pray for our Father and Archbishop Demetrius. Lord, have mercy. Peace in India and all our brotherhood in Christ. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. For merciful man befriending God, art thou unto thee, to be sent of glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, down over and unto the ages of ages. Amen. In the name of the Lord, and our blood. Glory to the holy, consubstantial, life creating and indivisible Trinity, always, now, and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace, goodwill towards men. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace, goodwill towards men. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace, goodwill towards men. O Lord, thus it open my lips, and my mouth should declare thy praise. O Lord, thus it open my lips, and my mouth should declare thy praise. O Lord, why are they multiplied? They afflict me many, rise up against me many, say unto my soul, there is no salvation for him and his God. But thou, Lord, of my help and my glory, and I looked her up in my head, I cried unto the Lord in my voice, and he heard me out of his holy mountain. I laid me down and slept. I awoke, for the Lord will help me. I will not be afraid of ten thousand of people that set themselves against me round about. Arise, O Lord, save me, O my God, for thou hast smitten off without a cause of mine enemies. The teeth of sinners so broken. Salvation is the Lord, and my blessing is upon thy people. And laid me down and slept. I awoke, for the Lord will help me. O Lord, rebuke me not in thine anger, nor chasten me in thy wrath. For thine arrows are fastened to me, and thou hast laid thy hand heavily upon me. There is no healing in my flesh in the face of thy wrath, and there is no peace in my bones in the face of my sins. For mine iniquities are risen higher than my head, as a heavy burden have they pressed heavily upon me. My bruises have become noisome and corrupt in the face of my folly. I have been wretched and utterly bowed down unto the end. All the day long I went to a downcast face, for my loins are filled with mockings, and there is no healing in my flesh. I am afflicted and humbled exceedingly, I have turned a groaning in my heart. O Lord, before thee is all my desire, my groaning is not hid from thee. My heart is troubled, my strength hath failed me, and the light of mine eyes, even this is not with me. My friends and my neighbors drew nigh over against me and stood at my nearest kin, stood afar off. And they that sought after my soul used violence, and they that sought the evils for me spake vain things and craftinesses all the day long they did meditate. But as for me, like a deaf man, I heard them not, and was as a speechless man, and opened not his mouth, and I became as a man that heareth not, and that hath in his mouth no reproofs. For in thee have I hoped, O Lord, thou wilt hearken unto me, O Lord my God. For I said, Let never mine enemies rejoice over me, yea, when my feet were shaken, those men spoke boastful words against me. For I am ready for scourges, and my sorrow is continually before me. For I will declare mine iniquity, and I will take heed concerning my sin. But mine enemies live, and are made stronger than I. And they that hate me unjustly are multiplied. They that render me evil for good slander me, because I pursue goodness. Forsake me not, O Lord my God, depart not from me. Be attentive unto my help, O Lord of my salvation. Forsake me not, O Lord my God, depart not from me. Be attentive unto my help, O Lord of my salvation. O God, my God, unto thee I rise early at dawn. My soul hath thirsted for thee. How often hath my flesh longed after thee in the land barren and untrodden and unwatered. So in the sanctuary have I appeared before thee to see thy power and thy glory, for thy mercy is better than life, my lips shall praise thee. So shall I bless thee in my life, and in thy name will I lift up my hands, as with my own fatness, let my soul be filled with my lips of rejoicing, shall my mouth praise thee. If I remember thee on my bed at the dawn, and meditated on thee, for thou become my helper and the shelter of thy wings, will I rejoice. My soul hath cleaved unto thee, thy right hand of big to help me, but as for these in vain, as they sought out of my soul, they shall go into the nethermost parts of the earth. They shall be surrendered under the edge of the sword, portions for foxes shall they be, but the king shall be glad in God, every one shall be praised that swareth by him. For the mouth of them is stopped, that speak unjust things, at the dawn I meditated on thee, for thou art become my helper and a shelter, thy wings will I rejoice. My soul hath cleaved unto thee, thy right hand of king, quick to help me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God, O Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. O Lord, God of my salvation, my day, my cry, to my night before thee, let my prayer come before thee, bow down and near to my supplication, fulfilled with evils, is my soul and my life, and the hate is after all nigh. 
I am counted with them and go down into the pit. I am become as a man without health, free among the dead. Link the bodies of the slain to sleep in the grave, and thou rememberest no more, and they are cut off from thy hand. They lay me in the lowest pit in darkness and in the shadow of death. Against me is thine anger made strong, and all the billows that are brought upon me. Thou hast removed my friends afar from me. They have made me in an abomination unto themselves. I have been delivered up, and have not come forth. My eyes have grown weak from poverty. I have cried unto thee, O Lord, the whole day long. I have stretched out my hands unto thee. Nay, for the dead will thou work wonders, or shall physicians raise them up, that they may give thanks unto thee. Nay, shall any in a grave tell of thy mercy and of thy truth and thy destruction. Nay, shall thy wonders be made known. In that darkness and thy righteousness that in that land it is forgotten. But as for me unto thee, O Lord, have I cried, in the morning shall my prayer come before thee. Wherefore, O Lord, dost thou cast off my soul and turn thy face away from me, a poor man am I, and in troubles for my youth ye haven't been exalted. I was humbled and brought to distress. Thy furies have passed upon me, and thy terrors have sorely troubled me. They came round about me like water. All the day long they compassed me about together. Thou hast removed afar from me, friend and neighbor, mine acquaintances, because of my misery. O Lord, God of my salvation, by day have I cried by night before thee. Let my prayer come before thee. Bow down and near to my supplication. Bless the Lord of my soul, and all that is within me. Bless his holy name. Bless the Lord of my soul, and forget not all that he hath done for thee, who is gracious unto all thine iniquities, who healeth all thine infirmities, who redeemeth thy life from corruption, who crowneth thee with mercy and compassion, who fulfilleth thy desire with good things. Thy youth shall be renewed as the eagles, and Lord performeth deeds of mercy, and execute the judgment for all that men are wronged. He hath made his ways known unto Moses, unto the sons of Israel, the things that he hath willed, compassionate and merciful is the Lord, long suffering, plenteous and mercy, not unto the end will he be angered, neither unto eternity will he be wroth, not according to our iniquities that he dealt with us, neither according to our sins that he rewarded us. For according to the height of heaven from the earth the Lord hath made his mercy to prevail over them and fear him. As far as the east is from the west, so far hath he removed our iniquities from us. Like as a father hath compassion upon his son, so hath the Lord hath compassion upon them, if fear him, for he knoweth whereof we are made. He hath remembered that we are dust, as for man his days are as the grass. As a flower of the field, so shall he blossom forth, for when the wind is passed over it, then it shall be gone, and no longer will it know the place thereof. But the mercy of the Lord is from eternity, even unto eternity, upon them that fear him, and his righteousness is upon sons of sons, upon them that keep his testament, and remem remember his commandments to do them. The Lord in heaven hath prepared his throne, and his kingdom ruleth over all. Bless the Lord, are ye his angels, mighty in strength, that perform his word, to hear the voice of his words. Bless the Lord, are ye his works, in every place, uh, all his ministers to do his will. Bless the Lord, are my so, uh, bless the Lord, are ye works, are ye his works in every place of his dominion? Bless the Lord of my soul. In every place of his dominion, bless the Lord of my soul. O Lord, hear my prayer, give ear unto my supplication and thy truth. Hearken unto me in thy righteousness, and enter not into judgment with thy servant. For in thy sight shall no man living be justified, for the enemy hath persecuted my soul. He hath humbled my life down to the earth. He hath sent me in darkness, as those that have been long dead of my spirit within me has become despondent. Within me my heart is troubled. I remember the days of old. I meditated on all thy works. I pondered on the creation of thy hands. I stretched forth my hands unto thee. My soul thirsted after thee like water to land. Look me, hear me, O Lord, my spirit hath fainted away. Turn not thy face away from me, lest I be like unto them that go down into the pit. Cause me to hear thy mercy in the morning, for in thee have I put my hope. Cause me to know, Lord, the way when I should walk, for in thee have I lifted up my soul. Rescue me from mine enemies, O Lord, unto thee have I fled for refuge. Teach me to do thy will, for thou art my God. Thy good spirit shall leave me in the land of uprightness, for the namesake of the Lord shalt thou quicken me, and thy righteousness shall I bring my soul out of affliction, and in thy mercy shalt thou utterly destroy mine enemies, and thou shalt cut off all of them that afflict my soul, for I am thy servant. Hearken unto me, O Lord, in thy righteousness, and enter not into judgment with thy servant. Hearken unto me, O Lord, in thy righteousness, and enter not into judgment with thy servant. Thy good spirit shall leave me in the land of uprightness. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, but now and unto the age of the Amen. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God, our hope, O Lord. Glory be to thee. In peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For the peace from above and for the salvation of our souls, let us pray Lord to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For the peace of the whole world, the good estate of the holy churches of God, and the union of all, let us pray Lord to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For this holy house and for them that with faith, reverence, and fear of God enter herein, let us pray Lord to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For our Father and Archbishop to be Lord have mercy. And his synodia for the venerable presbytery, the diaconate in Christ, for all the clergy and the people, let us pray Lord to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For the sacred monastery, this town, for every city, town, and countryside, and the faithful that dwell therein, let us pray Lord to the Lord. Mercy. For seasonable weather, abundance of the fruits of the earth, and peaceful times, let us pray Lord to the Lord. Mercy. For them that travel by sea, land, and air, for the sick, the afflicted, for captives, and their salvation, let us pray Lord to the Lord. Mercy. For our deliverance from all tribulation, wrath, danger, and necessity, let us pray Lord to the Lord. Lord. Mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, by thy Lord grace. Calling to remembrance for our holy, immaculate, most blessed, most glorious holy Lady Theotokos, and ever Virgin Mary, us. with all the saints. Let us commit ourselves and one another and all our life unto Christ to our Lord. To thee, O Lord. Unto thee is to all glory, honor, and worship.
worship of the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Theos Kyrios Egos Tetartos. Theos Kyrios Ke Pefani Nimin Evlogimenos Erchomenos Enonomati Kyriou. O give thanks, Lord, and call upon His holy name. God is the Lord, and hath appeared unto us. Blessed is he that cometh in the name of the Lord. Ponto ta ethnik iglosan me ketonomati kyriumi namin avtus. Theos kyrios ke epefanin imin evlogimenos o erchomenos en onomati kyriou. This is the Lord's doing and his marvelous in our eyes. God is the Lord, and hath appeared unto us. Blessed is he that cometh in the name of the Lord. Since thou hast been instructed in uprightness thoroughly, and was vigilant in all things, Thou hast clothed with a good conscience as befitted one holy, thou didst draw from the chosen vessel ineffable mysteries, and having kept the faith, thou didst finish her like course, so high a martyr Dionysius, intercede with Christ the God, that our souls be saved. Glory to the Father and Holy Spirit, reaching forth with thy whole soul unto the Lord thy God, thou didst attain to the stature of the great fathers of old, striving after their humility and love for God, and as a share in their grace, thou dost cover with the, thy prayers the faithful that seek thy succor, <coughs> and sever pray to the Savior, O bless the Eronimus, that we be saved. Both now and ever into the ages of ages, amen. O impassable gate of the Lord, most high rejoice, rejoice, O rampart and shelter for them that hasten to thee, tranquil haven and pure maiden, who is not no man, and who didst give birth in the flesh to thy Maker, and thy God rejoice, and cease not to pray him, making entreaty for them that worship and praise him that was born of thee. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, for now and ever, and unto the ages of ages, amen, unto thee, O Lord, ever lifted up my soul, and my God, in thee have I trusted. Let me never be put to shame, nor let my enemies not be discorned, yea, let none that wait on thee be put to shame, let them be ashamed, which are lawless without a cause. Make thy way to Lord known unto me, and teach me thy paths. Lead me in thy truth, and teach me, for thou art God my Savior, for in thee have I waited all the day long. Remember thy compassion to the Lord, and thy mercies, for they are from everlasting. The sins of my youth and my ignorance is remembered not according to thy mercy. Remember thou me for the sake of thy goodness, O Lord. Good and upright is the Lord, therefore will they set a law from them and sin in a way. He will guide the meek in judgment, he will teach the meek his ways. All the ways of the Lord are mercy and truth. Unto them that seek out his covenant and his testimonies for the sake of thy name, O Lord, be gracious unto my sin, for it is great. Who is the man that feareth the Lord? He will set him along the way which he hath chosen, and so shall dwell among good things, and his seed shall inherit the earth. The Lord is the strength of them that fear him, and his covenant shall be manifested unto them. Mine eyes are ever toward the Lord, for he it is. O draw my feet out of the snare, look upon me, and have mercy me, for I am one only begotten and poor. The afflictions of my heart are multiplied, bring me out from my necessities. Behold my lowliness and my toil, and forgive all my sins. Look upon mine enemies, for they are multiplied, and with an unjust hater have they hated me. Keep my soul and rescue me, let me not be put to shame, for I have hoped in thee. The innocent and the upright have cleaved unto me, for I have waited on thee, O Lord. Redeem us, or look out of all his afflictions. And judge me, O Lord, for in my innocence have I walked in, hoping in the Lord I shall not grow weak. Prove me, O Lord, and try me. Prove me with fire, my reins and my heart. For thy mercy is before mine eyes, and I have been well pleasing in thy truth. I have not sat with the counsel of vanity, nor shall I go in with him that transgress the law. I have hated the congregation of evil doers, and with the ungodly will I not sit. I will wash my hands in innocency, and I will come to thine altar, O Lord, that I may hear the voice of thy praise and tell of all thy wondrous works. O Lord, I have loved the beauty of the house and the place where thy glory dwelleth. Destroy not my soul with the ungodly, nor my life with men of blood, in whose hands are iniquities, or right hand is full of bribes. But as for me and mine innocence have I walked, redeem me, O Lord, and have mercy me. My foot has stood in uprightness, and the congregations will I bless thee, O Lord. The Lord is my light and my Savior, whom then shall I fear? The Lord is the defender of my life, of whom then shall I be afraid? When a wicked draw an eye against me to eat my flesh, they that afflict me and are mine enemies, they themselves became weak and they fell. Though a host should array itself against me, my heart shall not be afraid. Though a war should rise up against me, and this have I hoped. One thing have I asked of the Lord, this will I seek after, that I may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life, and that I may behold the delight of the Lord, and that I may visit his holy temple. For he hid me in his tabernacle on the day of my troubles, he sheltered me in a secret place of his tabernacle upon a rock, and he exalted me. And now, behold, he exalted my head above mine enemies, and went round about, and I sacrificed in his tabernacle that sacrifice of praise and jubilation. I will sing, and I will chant unto the Lord, hearken, O Lord, unto my voice, wherewith I have cried, have mercy on me, and hearken unto me, my heart said unto thee. I will seek the Lord, my face hath sought after thee, thy face, O Lord, will I seek. Turn not thy face from me, and turn not away in wrath from thy servant, be thou my helper. Cast me not utterly away, and forsake me not, O God, my Savior, for my father and my mother have forsaken me, but the Lord has taken me to himself. Set me a law, Lord, in thy way, and lead me in the right path, because of mine enemies. Deliver me not over unto the souls of them that afflict me, for unjust witnesses have risen up against me, and injustice applied to itself. 
I believe that I shall see the good things of the Lord in the land of the living. Wait on the Lord and be thou manful, and let thy heart be strengthened, and wait on the Lord. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Both now live in peace. Jesus, amen. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to God. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Both now and ever unto the age of ages, amen. Of the O Lord, will I cry, O my God, be not silent unto me, lest thou be silent to me. I become like them that go down to the pit. Hearken, O Lord, in my supplication, when I pray unto thee, when I lift up my hands towards the holy temple, draw me not in with sinners and with the workers of unrighteousness, destroy me not, who speak peace with their neighbors, for evils are in their hearts. Give unto them, O Lord, according to their deeds, and according to the wickedness of their endeavors, according to the work of their hands, give unto them, render their reward unto them, for they have not understood the works of the Lord, and the works of his hands, thou shalt destroy them, and shall not build them up. Blessed is the Lord, because he hath heard the voice of my supplication. The Lord is my helper and my defender, and my heart hath hoped in him, and I am helped, and my flesh hath flourished again. And out of my desire will I confess him. The Lord is the strength of his people and the champion of salvation for his anointed one. Say thy people and bless thine inheritance. Shepherd them and bear them up unto eternity. Bring it to the Lord, ye sons of God. Bring it to the Lord, ye sons of rams. Bring it to the Lord glory and honor. Bring it to the Lord glory due unto his name. Worship the Lord in his holy court. The voice of the Lord is upon the waters. The God of glory hath thunder. The Lord is upon the many waters. The voice of the Lord in might. The voice of the Lord in majesty. The voice of the Lord who breaketh the cedars. Yea, the Lord will break the cedars of Lebanon, and he will break them small like the calf of Lebanon, his beloved is like the sun of the unicorns. The voice of the Lord who divideth the flame of fire, the voice of the Lord who shaketh the wilderness, yea, the Lord will shake the wilderness of Cadiz. The voice of the Lord scattereth the hearts, and shall reveal the thickets of oak. And in his temple every man uttereth glory, the Lord dwelleth in the flood, yea, the Lord shall sit as king forever. The Lord will give strength unto his people, the Lord will bless his people with peace. I will exalt thee, O Lord, for thou hast upheld, for thou hast upheld me, and hast not made my foes to rejoice over me. O Lord, my God, I cried unto thee, and thou hast healed me. O Lord, thou hast brought up my soul out of Hades, thou hast saved me from them, and go down into the pit. Chant unto the Lord, O ye saints of his, give thanks at the remembrance of his holiness, for wrath is in his anger, but in his will there is life, at evening shall weeping shall find lodging, but in morning rejoicing. And I said in my prosperity, I shall remain unshaken forever. O Lord, by thy will, as I granted power to my beauty, but thou hast turned away thy face, and I became troubled unto thee. O Lord, will I cry unto my God, will I make supplication? What profit is there in my blood? When I go down into corruption, shall dust confess thee, or declare thy truth? The Lord hath heard me, and hath had mercy on me. The Lord became my helper. Thou hast turned my mourning into joy for me. Thou hast rend my sackcloth, and discouraged me with gladness, that my glory may chant unto thee, and I may not be pierced for sorrow. O Lord, my God, I will confess thee forever. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Alleluia, 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 glory to your God. Alleluia, 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 glory to your God. Alleluia, 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 glory to your God. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Well, now and ever unto the ages of ages, amen. And the Lord of I hope, let me not be put to shame in the age to come in thy righteousness, deliver me and rescue me, and bow down and ear to me, and make haste to rescue me. Be thou to me, a God, to defend me in a place, house of refuge, to save me for my strength and my refuge, are thou, and for thy name's sake, will thou guide me and nourish me, that will bring me out of this snare which they have hid from me, for thou art my defender, O Lord. Into thy hand will I commit my spirit, thou hast redeemed to me, O Lord God of truth. Thou hast hated them that cling to empty vanities, but I have hoped in the Lord. I will rejoice and be glad in thy mercy, for thou hast regarded my lowliness, and hast saved my soul out of necessities, and hast not shut me up in the hands of enemies. Thou set my feet in a spacious place, have mercy on me, O Lord, for I am afflicted, my eye is troubled with anger, as also my soul and my belly. For my life is spent with grief, and my ears with groanings. My strength hath grown weak in poverty, and my bone is troubled. My bones are troubled. I am become a reproach among all mine enemies, and greatly for my neighbors also, and a fear to mine acquaintances. They that saw me without flesh from me, I am forgotten by the heart like a dead man, I am become like a broken vessel. For I have heard all the I for I have heard the reproach of many that dwell round about when they assemble together against me, the device to take away my life. But as for me I have hoped in thee, O Lord, I said thou art my God, and thy hands are my lots. Deliver me from the hands of my enemies, and from them I persecute me. Make thy face to shine upon thy servant, and save me in thy mercy. O Lord, let me not be put to shame, for I have called upon thee. Let the ungodly be put to shame, and let them be brought down into Hades. Speechless be the deceitful lips, which speak iniquity against a righteous man with arrogance and contempt. How great is the multitude of thy goodness, O Lord, which I was hid from them, I fear thee, which I was wrought from them, I hope in thee before the sons of men. Thou shalt hide them in the secrecy of thy presence before the disturbance, from the disturbance of men. Thou shalt shelter them in the tabernacles from contradiction of tongues. Blessed is the Lord, for he hath made his mercy wondrous in a fortified city, but as for me, I said in my next I am cast away from the presence of thine eyes. Therefore hast thou heard the voice of my supplication when I cried unto thee. O love ye the Lord, are ye his saints, for the Lord requireth truth, and unto them that act with exceeding pride, he renders them their due. Be ye manful, and let your heart be strengthened, all ye that hope in the Lord. Blessed are they that whose iniquities are forgiven, whose sins are covered. Blessed is the man unto whom the Lord imputeth not sin, whose mouth there is no guile. 
Because I kept silence, my bones were boxed to my crying all the day long. For day and night, the hand was heavy upon me. I was reduced to misery, most the Lord, and stuck fast to me. My iniquity have I acknowledged, and my sin have I not hid. I said, I will confess my iniquities before my, the Lord against myself, and not forgive the ungodliness of my heart. But for this shall everyone that is, will they pray unto thee in a seasonable time? Moreover, in a flood of many waters shall it not come nigh unto him. Thou art my refuge from the affliction which surroundeth me, O my rejoicing. Deliver me from them which have encircled me. I will instruct thee and teach thee in this way which thou shalt go. I will fix mine eyes upon thee. Be ye not as a horse, nor as a mule, which hath no understanding, whose jaws are must hold with bit and bridle, lest they come nigh unto thee. Many are the scourges, the sinner, but mercy shall encircle him that hopeth in the Lord. Be glad in the Lord, and rejoice, O ye righteous, and glory are ye that are upright of heart. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, for now and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. Our hope, O Lord, glory be to thee. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Most holy Theotokos, save us. Saints, let us commit ourselves and one another and all our life unto Christ to our Lord. Thee, o Lord. And that is the dominion, and that is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Eginis opimi, no kalos tu sotiros, asias oblastos, kapadokon idoksa, Υπόδειγμας κι εις αιώς ταπεινός αιώς κάτω απ' τρόν Ιερών ημένης ετοιμόμεν εν Θεός Σιγαρέλησας των κέκτων καινοτόμων την πλάνην Γνησίω φρονήματι Lord, the Father, and the Son, Holy Spirit As a prince of compunction in prayer and fear of God Thou being clothed with divine grace as a most fair purple robe was invested full, full, with full power in thy blessed soul to banish demons and disease, to drive sicknesses from men and guide sinners to salvation. Be our protector now also, O mighty saint, a great Hieronymus. O now and ever into the ages of ages, amen. Rejoice, O God, child and mountain, divinely sanctified. Rejoice, O soul, and that burst that was unconsumed, though a flame. O thou only bridge that leadeth from this world to God, conveying mortals to the heights and to everlasting life. Rejoice, pure and spotless maiden, who never knowing a man, yet didst bring forth him who doth redeem our souls. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, for now and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Rejoice in the Lord, your righteous praises me for the upright. Give praise to the Lord with a harp. Chant unto him with a ten string psalter. You sing unto him a new song. Chant well unto him with jubilation, for the word of the Lord is true. And all his works are in faithfulness. The Lord loveth mercy and judgment. The earth is full of the mercy of the Lord. By the word of the Lord, where the heavens established, and all the might of them by the spirit of his mouth. Who gathereth the gathers into a wineskin of waters of the sea. Who layeth the abysses, the abysses in storehouses. Let all the earth fear the Lord, and let all the inhabitants of the world be shaken before him, for he spake, and they came into being. He commanded, and they were created. The Lord scattered the plants of the heathens. He setteth aside the devices of the people. He bringeth them not the plants of princes. But the counsel of the Lord abideth unto eternity. The thoughts of his heart unto generation and generation. Blessed is the nation whose God is the Lord, the people whom he hath chosen out of his, for his inheritance. The Lord looked down from heaven upon he beheld all the sons of men. From his habitation which he prepared, he looked upon all the inhabitants of the earth. He that alone fashioned the heart of them, who understandeth all their works. The king is not saved by a great might, nor, nor shall a giant be saved by the magnitude of his own strength. Futile is the horse for salvation, nor by the magnitude of his might shall he be saved. Behold, the eyes of the Lord are upon them that fear him, upon them that hope in his mercy, to deliver their souls from death, and to nourish them in famine. Our souls shall wait for the Lord, for he is our helper and our defender. For our heart shall be glad in him, and in his holy name have we hoped. Let thy mercy, O Lord, be upon us according as we have hoped in thee. I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall continually be in my mouth, and the Lord shall my soul be praised. Let me hear and be glad. O magnify the Lord with me, and let us exalt his name together. I saw the Lord, and he heard me, and deliver me from all my tribulations. Come unto him, and be enlightened, and your faces shall not be ashamed. This poor man cried, and the Lord heard him, and he saved him out of all his tribulations. The angel of the Lord will encamp round about them, and fear him, and will deliver them. 
O tis and see that the Lord is good, blessed is the man that hopeth in him. O fear the Lord, O ye his saints, for there is no want to them. If you him, rich men have turned poor and gone hungry, but they that seek the Lord shall not be deprived of any good thing. Come, ye children, hearken unto me, I will teach you the fear of the Lord. What man is there that desireth life, who loveth to see good days? Keep thy tongue from evil, and thy lips from speaking guile. Turn away from evil, and do good. Seek peace, and pursue it. The eyes of the Lord are upon the righteous, and his ears are upon the, their supplication. The face of the Lord is against them, and do evil of utterly destroy the remembrance of them from the earth. The righteous cried, and the Lord heard them, and he delivered them out of all their tribulations. The Lord is nigh unto them that are of a contrite heart, and he will save the humble of spirit. Many are the tribulations of the righteous, and the Lord shall deliver them out of them all. The Lord keepeth all their bones, not one of them shall be broken. The death of sinners is evil, and they that hate the righteous shall do wrong. The Lord will redeem the souls of the servants, and none of them will do wrong. They hope in him. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. And well, now and over the end of the ages of ages, amen. Judge him, O Lord, that you may injustice, war against him, as war against me. Take hold of weapon and shield, and arise into my help. Draw out a sword, and shut the way against him. That persecute me, say to my soul, I am thy salvation. Let them that seek my soul be ashamed and confounded, let them be turned back and utterly put to shame. They that devise evils against me, let them become as dust before the face of the wind, and angel of the Lord also afflicting them. For we, for let their way become darkness and a sliding, and angel of the Lord also pursuing them. For without cause have they secretly prepared for me destruction in their snare, without reason that I cast reproach on my soul. Let a snare come upon him which he knoweth not, and let the trap which he hath hidden catch him into the same snare, let him fall. But my soul shall rejoice in the Lord, it shall delight in his salvation. All my bones shall say, Lord, O Lord, who is like unto thee, delivering the beggar from the hand of them that were stronger than he, ye poor men and pauper from them that despoil him. And just witnesses rose up against me, things I knew not. They asked me, they repeat me with evil things for good and barrenness for my soul. But as for me, when they troubled me, I put on sackcloth, and I humbled my soul with fasting. My prayer shall return to my bosom as though it had been a neighbor. As though it had been our brother, so sought I to please as one, uh, as one morning and uh, sad of countenance, so humbled I myself. Yet against me the day of I, they rejoiced and gathered together, scourges were gathered together, gathered together upon me, and I knew it not. They were rent asunder, yet not pricked at heart. They tempted me, they mocked me with mockery, they gnashed upon me with their teeth. Lord, when will thou look upon me, deliver my soul from their evil doing, even this only begotten one from the lions? I will confess thee in the great congregation among the mighty among the mighty people. I will praise thee. Will I praise thee? Let them let not them rejoice against me that unjustly are mine enemies, and then they hate me without a cause and wink with their eyes. For peaceably indeed they spake unto me, but in their wrath were they devising deceits. And they opened wide their mouth against me. They said, Well done, well done. Our eyes have seen it. Thou hast seen it, O Lord. Keep not silence. O Lord, depart not from me. Arise, O Lord, and be attentive unto my judgment, O my God, and my Lord, unto my cause. Judge me, O Lord, according to thy righteousness, O Lord my God. Let them not rejoice against me. Let them not say in their hearts, well done, well done, our soul. Let them not say, we have swallowed them up. Let them be shamed and confounded together who rejoice at my woes. Let them be clothed with shame and confusion who speak boastful words against me. Let them rejoice and be glad who desire the righteousness of my cause. And let them that desire the peace of thy servants say continually, the Lord be magnified. And my tongue shall treat of thy righteousness and thy praise all the day long. The transgressor that he may sin saith to himself, There is no fear of God before his eyes, for he hath wrought craftiness before him, lest he shall find his uh, iniquity and hate it. The words of his mouth are iniquity and deceit, he hath not will to understand how to do good, iniquity hath he devised upon his bed. He has set himself in every way that is not good, and evil hath he not afford. O Lord, thy mercy is in heaven, and thy truth reaches unto the clouds, thy righteousness is out of the mountains of God, and thy judgments are a great abyss, men and beasts will thou save, O Lord. How thou hast magnif- multiplied thy mercy, O God, let the sons of men hope in the shelter of thy wings. They should be drunken with the fatness of thy house, and the torrents of thy delight shall I make them to drink, for in thee is the fountain of life, and thy light shall we see light. O continue thy mercy unto them that know thee, and thy righteousness unto the upright of heart. Let not the foot of pride come against me, let not the hand of a sinner move me. Yonder uh, be all that are. Yonder be fallen all they that are working equity, they are cast out, they shall not be able to stand. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Both now and ever unto the ages of ages of men, fret not them, fret not thyself because of evildoers. 
nor envy of them that work iniquity, for like grass quickly shall they be withered, and like green herbs quickly shall they fall away. Hope in the Lord, and do good, and dwell on the earth, and like a shepherd thou shalt be fed with its riches. Delight thyself in the Lord, and he will give thee askings of thy heart. Disclose unto the Lord thy way, and trust in him, and he shall bring it to pass. And he shall bring forth thy righteousness as the light, and thy judgment as the noonday. Submit thyself to the Lord, and supplicate him. Fret not thyself because of him that prospereth in his way, nor because of a man that doeth iniquity. Cease from wrath, and forsake anger. Fret not thyself so as to do evil. For evil doers shall utterly perish, but they that wait on the Lord, they shall inherit the earth. And yet a little while, and the sinner shall not be, and thou shalt seek for his place, and shall not find it. But the meek shall inherit the earth, and shall delight themselves in an abundance of peace. <clears throat> the sinner will diligently keep watch over the righteous man, and will gnash with his teeth upon him. For the Lord shall laugh at him when he, when he, uh, because he foreseeth that his day will come. The sinners have drawn a sword, they have bent their bow to cast down poor men and pauper to slay the upright in heart. Let their sword enter into their own hearts and let their bows be broken. Better is a little which a just man hath than the great riches of sinners. For the arms of the sinners shall be broken, but the Lord upholdeth the righteous. The Lord knoweth the ways of the blameless, and their inheritance shall be forever. They shall not be put to shame in an evil time, and days of famine shall they be filled. But the sinners shall perish in the enemies of the Lord in a moment when they are glorified and exalted, vanished away like smoke, they vanished away. The sinner borroweth and will not repay, but the just man showeth mercy and giveth. For they that bless him shall inherit the earth, but they that curse him shall utterly perish. By the Lord are the steps of a man rightly directed, and in his way shall he, be, shall he greatly desire. When he falleth, he shall not be utterly cast down, for the Lord upholdeth his hand. I have been young, and now indeed I am old, and I have not seen the righteous man forsaken nor seed, begging bread. All the day long the righteous showeth mercy and lendeth, and his seed shall be unto blessing, decline from evil and do good, and dwell unto ages of ages. For the Lord loveth judgment, and he will not forsake his holy ones, they shall be kept forever. But the wicked shall be banished, and the seed of the ungodly shall be utterly destroyed. The righteous shall inherit the earth, and shall dwell therein unto ages of ages. The mouth of the righteous shall meditate wisdom, and his tongue shall speak of judgment. The law of his God is, is in his heart, and his steps shall not be tripped. The sinner watcheth the righteous one, and seeketh to slay him. But the Lord will not abandon him into his hands, nor in any way condemn him when he judgeth him. Wait on the Lord, and keep his way, and he shall exalt thee to inherit the earth. When sinners are utterly destroyed, thou shalt see it. I have seen the ungodly man highly exalted, and lifting himself up like the cedars of Lebanon. But I passed by, and lo, he was not, and I sought him, and his place was not to be found. Keep innocence, and behold uprightness, for there is a remnant for the peaceable man. But the transgressor shall be utterly destroyed, together with the remnants of the ungodly, but shall be utterly destroyed. But the salvation of the righteous is from the Lord, and he is their defender in a time of, of affliction. And the Lord shall help them, and shall deliver them, and he will rescue them from sinners, and will save them, because they hoped in him. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, but now and ever, and to the ages of the ages. Amen. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. Our hope of the Lord, glory be to thee. Lord have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God. Lord have mercy. mercy. Calling to remembrance our holy and magical trust and glorious Lady. Holy Spirit, O God, save us. Saints, let us commit ourselves and one another in all our life unto Christ our God. To the O Lord. Lord, remember, friend and God, art thou, and unto thee do we send up glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and <coughs> the ages of ages. Amen. <coughs> In plan in catelli peston che no toman so fe che is chi sa sarista en tapi no si poli lambre i eronime idas eston demon en tas pagidas en fronas i egon eston provaton para clise o scrini dio che ni ne dio che ni ne pagali dio che ni ne pagali tis chi no masi. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, the exile on the earth, who by prayer dwelt in heaven, the proper clothed with rags, wearing God as a mantle, 
He who with all his power loved God and neighbor more than he loved himself. He of whom our pure lady said, No man loveth me like Hieronymus. The same now maketh bold and ceases prayer for them that keep his feast day. But thou, the rent of the ages, amen, that givest birth to God, our Creator and Savior, who out of Adam's stock chose thee out as the greatest, stronger than heaven's angels, in spotless religion, never ceasing prayer, peerless in God, like longing that all be saved and united unto God, the which your lady earnestly implore for us, who sing thy praises. Have mercy, O God, according to the great mercy, and according to the multitude of thy compassions, blot on my transgression, wash me thoroughly from my iniquity, and cleanse me from my sin, for I know my iniquity, my sin is ever before me. Against the only have I sinned, and the sea will be for thee, that might be justified, and the words of the thou art judged. For behold, thou hast conceived in iniquity, and in sins did my mother bear me. For behold, thou hast loved truth, the hidden secret things, so that wisdom has thou made manifest unto me. Thou shalt sprinkle me with hyssop, and I shall be made clean. Thou shalt wash me, and I shall be made whiter than snow. Thou shalt make me to hear, join gladness, the bones that be humble, they shall rejoice. Turn thy face away from my sins, and blot out all mine iniquities. Create in me a clean heart, O God, and renew a right spirit within me. Cast me not away from thy presence, and take not thy Holy Spirit from me. Restore unto me the joy of thy salvation, with thy governing spirit establish me. I shall teach transgressors thy ways, and the ungodly shall turn back unto thee. Deliver me from blood guiltiness, O God, O God of my salvation. My tongue shall rejoice in thy righteousness. O Lord, thou shalt open my lips, and my mouth shall declare thy praise. For if thou hast desired sacrifice, I had given it with whole burnt offerings, thou shalt not be pleased. A sacrifice unto God is a broken spirit, a heart that is broken, and humble God will not despise. Do good, O Lord, in thy good pleasure, unto Zion, and let the walls of Jerusalem be built. Then shalt thou be pleased with a sacrifice of righteousness, with oblation, whole burnt offerings, then shall they offer books upon thine altar. <coughs> o saying to God, and see on we have, come let us honor with our songs, Hieronymus, the man of marvelous love the prince of compunction and the Cappadocian horseman tightly reigning in his heart, who not letting it wander amidst the wastes of the world's delights, spurred it to the heights of the love of Christ. O saint of God, intercede now we have this feastal day that shine and shout with joy to Lord, the saint revealed in our times, the peer of the ancients, that true oracle of Hegina who prophesied by Christ, whose pronouncements admitted of neither gainsay nor disbelief, coming from the Father of lights on high. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. O oh, Father, open up to us the door of thy beloved cell once again. Receive our petitions and admit us to thy fatherly affections, great with love. And as no man departed from thy compassion, left unconsoled, neither leave us sinners without thy help. Both now and ever, in the ages of ages, amen, the fall of Adam and the, un and the universal woe of our departure from God, the, wo the wall of division was undone, O Holy Virgin, and our ruin was reversed. When our infant, our artificer, was contained in thy blessed womb, joining God to man with a saving bond. O Saint of God, intercede on behalf those lofty fortresses of prayer, areas, areas of God seeing eagles, the spiring cones of Cappadocia, the blessed. <coughs> Nurtured great God bearing saints, the giants of unceasing prayer, of whom the last to fly forth was the high soaring Euronymous. O Saint of God, in Sydney we have thy patrimony to thy sons was not estated was not thy patrimony to thy sons was not estates and possessions, but thy zeal kindling example of virtue, dauntless diligence in prayer, humility before the Lord, and never shaken patience with faith that God doth direct our ways. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. Today our feast that have as host him that had no earthly riches, the provider of the orphans and widows, and the refugee in whom all men found refuge for their souls, the haven of great mercy, the haven reaching Euronymous, both now and ever into the ages of ages, amen. A pilgrim homeless on the earth, thou hast thy mind in the heavens, bravely practicing detachment from all things, exiled far from Calvary, thou daily wast at Calvary, where with his virgin mother thou drewest strength from thy master's cross. Lord have mercy. Have mercy on us and keep us, O God. Lord have mercy. Calling to remembrance our holy and malchable blessed glorious Lady, 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 let us commit ourselves and one another in all our life unto Christ our Lord. Amen. 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 Amen.
Lord our God, and unto thee do we send up glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. In spirit, thou didst pass through heaven's gates, instructed by the great apostle who attained to the third heaven's heights, and was made rich in all knowledge of things beyond speech. And then thou, o Dionysius, didst illuminate them that slumbered in the darkness of their ignorance. Hence we all cry out, Rejoice, O Universal Father. Rejoice, O Universal Father. An angel from among men did the great Dionysius become through virtue and soaring on high. His mind was initiated into all celestial knowledge. Therefore with signs let us honor him as an angel, crying to him such things as these. Rejoice thou who camest to know Christ through Paul. Rejoice thou who hast turned many unto Christ. Rejoice, destroyer of the tabernacle of many gods. Rejoice, beacon of the council known to God. Rejoice, divine inscribed book and treasury of mysteries. Rejoice, God, from tablet and window into heaven. Rejoice, for thou beheldest the passion of the Lord. Rejoice, for thou wast eagerly slain for his sake. Rejoice, fountain which gusheth forth forgiveness. Rejoice, rain washing away folly. Rejoice, unerring way unto salvation. Rejoice, barrier impeding the passage of the impious. Rejoice, O universal Father. Rejoice, O universal Father. As a truly divine image mirroring Paul the Lord's chosen vessel thou teachest us of God's inner mysteries in the spirit with mighty voice and illumined by grace of divine light thou openly hast explained the arrays and the orders of angel hosts and so Dionysius, sacred teacher of mysteries, in leaving to all the world thy divine teachings, thou in truth hast enlightened and strengthened all. Intercede with Christ our God, that forgiveness of all their transgressions be granted to them, that with longing keep thy holy memory. Glory to the Father, and Holy Spirit, like that Hannah who poured out her soul in prayer, the good mother enkindled thee with her zeal. And as her young Samuel dedicated thee to the Lord, and through diligent working of virtue didst thou wax great in the grace of clairvoyance and wondrous prophetic gifts. <coughs> Wherefore, as a judge unto God's people, thus spakest the oracles from on high, turning all to the love of Christ. O God, inspired Hieronymus, intercede with Christ our God, <coughs> that forgiveness of all their transgressions be. Grant it to them that with longing keep thy holy memory. Lord, now endeavor into the ages of ages, amen. They do all generations of mankind bless as the virgin and only in womankind who seedlessly brought to birth God incarnate upon the earth. For in these the fire of the God had come down to dwell, and thou sucklest the Maker and Lord as a little babe. Wherefore, with the race of men, with all of the angels, befittingly glorify thee, O holy child born of thee, and with one voice we cry to thee. Entreat thy Son and God that he grant the forgiveness of transgressions unto them, <coughs> that sing the praise of thy glory as is meet or spotless made. <coughs> o Saint of God, intercede on behalf with a needle and walk with a needle, a walking stick with a blade of grass, with a crumpled handkerchief. Thou didst raise men's minds to things on high, using earthly things to ravish from the earth. O Saint of God, intercede on behalf like an eastern grown a apricot, thou at once wast tart with thy sharp rebukes for sin, but most sweet with strong consoling words, strengthening souls to co on comfort tempered with reproof. Go glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As a man of great enterprise, thou didst straight for profit in every circumstance, that things might bring thee greater gain, making thee more rich in love for God and man. <clears throat> Both now and ever into the ages of ages, when thou didst run to the holy land, thirsting for the place that God had sanctified, when he walked the earth arrayed in flesh, taken from the virgin prophesied of yore. O saint of God, in the city of have learning prayer from thy mother, thou wast nourished more on her tears than upon her milk, and her great compunction formed thy soul in its image from tender youth, so that she was mother both of thy soul and of thy body, educating, educating thee early in, good, in godliness. O saint of God, intercede on behalf. Daily diligent digging, opening up a deep spring source of abundant grace, made thee an oasis 
for the world weary wandering the wilderness who indeed found guidance and new provisions for the journey to the land of the living our Savior Christ. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Sorrows, poverty, sickness, every earthly woe from which men flee with all their might. Thou didst reckon favor from a merciful, from a merciful providence saving us. Nor was it a wonder that he who saw God's hand in all things took the loss of an arm so courageously. Both now and ever into the ages of ages, amen, to a virgin's detachment and complete dispassion towards earthly and carnal things. Thou dost join a mother's strong and binding affection and tender love for all of her children, and longest after our salvation more than we ourselves <laughs> seek it of full of grace. O saint of God, it is in the behalf. The beehive cones sealed with caves, O Anatolian Calvary, brought forth this honeybee who with stings of the conscience roused repentance in sleeping souls, whom he also sweetened with the honey of, faith, of, with the honey of paternal care. O saint of God, intercede on behalf, the saints have all had the grace to pierce the hearts of those seeing them, but thou, Father, dost mo move with wondrous compunction them that only have heard of thee as a living presence in the souls that saw not yet believe. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Now that the bait is glad and desert, Syria singeth praise, as they behold a new sun that shineth as bright as did the fathers of ancient times, Aegeus, ascetic, Anatolian, Euronymous. Both now and ever into the ages of ages, amen. What testimony so great, what praise could equal the blessedness as for the virgin to say, No man on earth loveth me like Father Euronymous. Next to such a witness, what is all the world's magnificence? <coughs> Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Most glorious Lady Lord, 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 and ever Virgin Mary with all the saints, let us commit ourselves and one another and all our life unto Christ our Lord. Lord. Thou art the King of peace and the Savior of our souls, and unto thee do we send up glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Like, like Moses, thou speakest face to face with God as a friend, and thou is thyself a fiery pillar of ceaseless prayer. O Father Hieronymus, wherefore do thou lead us from the Egypt of passions? out of thickest darkness to the light of salvation, for thou possessest boldness with Christ, who is well pleased in thee. Who is well pleased in thee. Daily thou bendest thy knees on the ground, and sendest <coughs> thy mind to the heights, lifting up thy hands to heaven, and drawing down the grace of God. And now, Father Euronymous, seeing Christ, hath lifted thee up to wondrous heights. We implore thee to bend down to us in our tribulation, and mightily come unto our aid. For thou possessest boldness with Christ, who is well pleased in thee. Who is well pleased in thee. Cynic <coughs> Sarian of the third of this month, who commanded the Holy Heart, Martyr Dionysus, the Areopagite, he who said, Take up thy bed and walk, to the paralytic said, Take up thy head and run to the Dionysius. On the third of Dionysus, thou takest thy severed head and runnest on this day. We commanded the, the Holy Martyrs. Rusticus and Aphtharius of Athens, freed from earthly things and Aphtharius, beheaded with a sword, along with Rusticus, and this day we commit the Holy Martyr Theoctistus. Worshipping the Creator and non-creation, Theoctistus with joy and joy, beheading on this day we commit the Holy Heart Martyr Dionysius, Archbishop of Alexandria, and the eight martyrs with him. Dionysius with eight fellow contenders is conveyed from gloom and in bright place twelve, and this day we commit the Holy Martyr Theogenes of Antioch. As Theogenes approached the fire and drew closer, he entered. Untroubled at the sight of his ending, on this day we commit the holy martyr Theotechnus. Once was I stoned, so speak of this Theotechnus, as Paul wrote to the Corinthians aforetime, on this day we commit our righteous father John, the Hosevite, bishop of Caesarea, and Palestine, safe from life's endless temptations. John receiveth endless honors, on this day we commit our righteous father Sikius of Mount Horeb, who is mentioned in the latter. On this day we commit the holy heart martyrs, you of the dark and you of the fair of Northumbria, who are martyred in West. Alia. On this day, we commit our righteous Father Dionysius, the records of the Kiev case, as we commit the Holy New Heart Martyr, Agathanglis, Metropolitan Miroslav, who was slain by the 8th of the year 1928. On this day, we commemorate our righteous and God bearing Father, Hieronymus of Cappadocia, who reposed in peace in the, on the island of Aegina in the year 1966. Cappadocia, which gave us Gregory and Basil, giveth us Hieronymus as her last oblation. Asia Minor's major glory resteth on the third. Father, holy intercessions of God, have mercy on us and save us. Amen. 
O saint of God, intercede on behalf of the oldest laborer at virtue as a craftsman, perfecting his art to greater heights, and virtue richly gave thee the love engendered boldness of a saint, crying mightily, O God of our fathers, blessed art thou. O saint of God, intercede on behalf thou beheld us the glory of the unbloody sacrifice, and with boundless fear withdrewest from the priesthood, but drewest all the nearer unto Christ through prayer, crying out, O God of our fathers, blessed art thou. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Though the Lord showed the secrets of man's past and their future to guide and comfort them, he showed thee not the danger that smote thee down with sufferings, yet with faith unmoved thou didst cry, O God of our fathers, blessed art thou. Both now and ever into the ages of ages. Amen. Thou art come from the Father as forgiveness and mercy and everlasting life, redeeming them that honor thine ever virgin mother, in whose shelter we should in whose shelter we shout to thee, O God of our fathers, blessed art thou. O Saint of God, intercede on behalf, those who scorn <coughs> thine unkempt outward appearance soon thereafter were stunned, when thou with piercing wisdom didst show to them their squalid and dishe dishe disheveled souls, yet with such compassion that their haughty hardness was turned to odd compunction. O Saint of God, intercede on behalf, let the eye of the needle be made spacious and the camel be made small, and I might see the kingdom, or plead for me with Christ to kind Hieronymus, and what men find hopeless, for the Lord is easy, entreated by his servant. We bless Father, Son, and Holy Spirit of the Lord. Though thy holy and awe-inspiring presence struck men's mouths down with fear, yet thou didst fully answer the deepest thoughts concealed within their inmost heart, which to thee lay open in the Holy Spirit who richly dwelt within thee, both now and ever unto the ages of ages. Amen. As a father constrained by his affection in the, in the hour of my death, come quickly, stand beside me, and saving me from them that pray on parting souls, lead me in thy mercy with a virgin mother to, to him we... To him who gave me be. Τον ήξε το στόμα μου και πληρώτησε το πνεύμα το. Σκελόμον ερέξω με τη Βασιλή Δημήτρη και οφθίσω με φεδρό πανηγυρίζων. Και άσο γηθόμενο τα αυτή στα θαύματα. Εξτρέφαστο, το Holy Theotokos, the living and never failing spring. All them that form a company and gather for to praise thy name. And by their grace divine, O may Give them a worthy of glory sounds. <coughs> when the prophet Abu Kama, thou most high, learned of the divine and untraceable counsel of thy pure incarnation, from the womb of the Blessed Virgin, he cried out, Glory to thy power, O Lord my God. <laughs> Και τέτο κασάκρονον ιόν πάση της ύμνους εισές, σωτηρία βραβεύοντα. On this divine and most honored feast of God's all holy mother, let all of godly mind now celebrate. Come, let us faithful now clap our hands, and send a glory unto the God whom she hath borne. Ο και λατρεύσα, εν τυκτήσι, θεοφρονες παρατοκτήσαν, τα λαπηρός απειλήν. Ανδρίως πατήσαν, δε σχέρον, δε σε ψαλόν, υπερήμνητε. We praise, we bless, and we worship the Lord. Three killed the Jews cast in the furnace were saved by the offspring which the Theotokos bear. Then in figure and in type, now in very truth and deed. And he hath gathered all the world which crieth out in chant. Ye works of his, O sing the Lord's praises, and exalt him greatly for ages and all ages. For he had looked upon the Lord as of his hand made it for behold from henceforth all generations shall call me blessed <coughs> more honorable than the cherubim and beyond compare more glorious than the seraphim he who without corruption gave his birth to God the word the very Theotokos thee do we magnify the peace of the value of the Ratoskia you and to honor of you and to add yourself to his genie and to genie and his soul man is of ton Την τιμιότερον των χερουβήν και ενδοξωτέρον ασυγκρίτως των σεραφήν Την αδιαφθόρος θεολόγων τεκούσαν Την όντως θεοτόκον σε μεγαλύνομε He had shown strength with his arm He had scattered the proud in the imagination of their heart More honorable than the cherubim And beyond compare more glorious than the seraphim 
the who without corruption gave his birth to God the Word, the very Theotokos, the do we magnify. Here the Nas of Patron and Kir set up in doors, Pinondus and every synagogue in Kipluto, and does exapestile canoes. Tintimioter and Tokiruvim, Kendoxoter and a singritos and seraphim. Την άδεια φθόρος Θεών λόγων τεκούσαν, την όντως Θεοτόκον σε μεγαλύνουμε. He had hope and his servant Israel in remembrance of his mercy, as he spake to our fathers, to Abraham and his seed forever. More honorable than the cherubim, <coughs> and beyond compare more glorious than the seraphim. <coughs> the who without corruption gave his birth to God the Word, the very Theotokos, the do we magnify. But saying to God, this is on behalf, alas, for our Elias is taken up, leaving no Elysees behind with double share of grace. Yet as grace filled mantle to those on earth, he freely doth bestow on all his consoling presence within the heart, forsaking none that love him, but guarding them through sorrows to Christ, whose love hath overcome the world. But saying to God, in this on behalf, with Gregory the neighboring, with Gregory thy neighbor from Calvary, and Philokius, Basil, and all thy Cappadocian friends, Isaac thy beloved ascetic guide, the newly shown Nectarius and great Dionysius of Aegina, and all the saints in heaven, make ardent intercession that we find mercy with you in that day. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Thy faith transformed the cutting off of thine arm to the greater extension of reach of soul in prayer to God, bartering things earthly for heavenly, committing thy whole self to Christ, soul and body, time and eternity, and Christ received the, the offering presented so completely and had completely made thee his on high, both now and ever into the ages of ages, amen, the instrument of mercy for Adam kind, the compassion of God, the bright quenchless hope of fallen souls, and the more than mother consoling all, the flesh and blood of God assumed for the full recovery of our race, the virgin ever standeth, in tireless intercession for all who run to her with childlike faith. Aphas gigenis, kirtato to pnevati lambado humenos, pani girizeto de ailonon fisis kererusa, ta yerata masia tis teomitoros, kevoato keris pamakariste, teoto ke agnia i parthene. Lord have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us with our Lord have mercy. All these reverence are all holy and mass. Most holy faith, O for save us. And all the saints, let us commit ourselves and one another at all our life unto Christ our Lord. For all the hosts of the heavens, praise thee, and unto thee do we send them glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. As a disciple caught by Paul, the famous chief apostle, O Dionysius, blessed of God, thou wast initiated by him in knowledge of mysteries. He set thee up thereafter to be a lamp unto the church and ordained thee as hierarchal man most wise. For the famous city of pious Athens, O God, proclaimed by thy prayers, Guard her in orthodoxy. Mm, glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, having as bright examples the mighty Messiah and John, that was arrayed in the breastplate of ceaseless prayer, compunction, love, whence all the darts of the demons fell back as arrows of infants. Both now and ever into the ages of ages, amen. No man on earth that love me has the divine Hieronymus. This thou declare in a vision to his disciple in her doubts. On his account, gracious lady, show mercy unto us also. Let every breath play with the fourth tone. Let every breath praise the Lord, praise the Lord from the heavens, praise him in the highest. To thee do praise, O God. Praise among his angels, praise among his hosts. To thee do praise, O God. Our righteous Father, Hieronymus of Aegean, act of
You established them forever, ye forever and ever. He said, Ordinances shall not pass away. Praise the Lord of the earth, and dragons, and all ye abysses. Fire, hail, snow, ice, blast of tempest, which will form his word. The mountains and all the hills, fruitful trees, and all cedars. The beasts and all the cattle, creeping things, and winged birds. Kings of the earth, and all peoples, princes, and all the judges of the earth. Young men and virgins, elders of the younger. Let them praise in the name of the Lord, for exalt is the name of him alone. His praise above the earth and heaven, and he shall exalt the horn of his people. This is the hymn for all the saints, for the sons of Israel, for the people that draw nigh unto him. Sing unto the Lord a new song, his praise is in the church of the saints. Let Israel be glad in him that made him, <coughs> the sons of Zion rejoice in their king. Let them praise his name in the dance, with the timbrel and the psalter, let them chant unto him. For the Lord take his pleasure in his people, and he shall exalt the meek with salvation. The saints shall boast in glory, and they shall rejoice upon their beds. The high praise of God shall be in their hands, and to which sword shall be in their hands. The vengeance among the heathen punishments among the peoples. To bind their kings with fetters, their nobles with manacles of iron. To do among them the judgment that is written, this glory shall be to all his saints. Praise ye God and his saints, praise in the ferment of his power. Here, Oros, this Haritos, here, O Pier, Gosto Peritichisma, Eton of Savun, Don Tocata Figion, O Ierone Magnisi, Patiri Montlanis Aclin, Elis Astis, this Eosta Bruti Hariti. Praise him a sound of trumpet, praise him a psaltery in harp. O oh, strange one, O oh, strange wonder in these latter times, a star of light rises up, shining mightily on the church with the never-setting beams of the righteous of ancient times. He hath the prayer of the desert-dwelling desert saints, prophetic gifts, seeing secrets deeply hid, and holy love of God, for the sake of which he spared no pain or toil, till he reached the stature of the great God bearers of all. Praise him with Hebrew and dance, praise him with strings and flute. Rejoice, fair child of Anatolia, in Cappadocia's bright bloom, sweet with scents of celestial prayer, watered with the streams of tears. Pouring forth from a heart of fire, with fasting vigil and sighs unutterable, thou hast arrived at the angel state on high, which thou didst daily seek with astonishing intenseness of desire. O divine Hieronymus, thou joy and wonder of all. Praise him, Atumpo Simus, praise him, Simus of Jubilation, that every breath praise the Lord. In thy breast thou hast the love of Christ, burning away earthly thorns, and enlightening thy mind with grace, making thee a guide of souls, and a prophet of mighty speech, as we extol thee with ardor and desire, worker of wonders, so wise Hieronymus, warmly implore the Lord, with the fervor that pleased in thee all thy life, that he grant his mercy and his kingdom unto us. <coughs> Glory, thank of the first one. <clears throat> Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, <clears throat> as an image of the wisdom of the Holy Fathers and as a living monument of the Father's love, thou hast been pleasing unto God and man in thy words and deeds, O Alphemus, for shining out like a pillar of virtue, reaching on to heaven, thou didst illuminate them that were in darkness, and its warm souls 
that had been frozen with ignorance and sin. Wherefore we celebrate thy memorial today. And embrace the chest of thy holy relics. We also seek thine entreaties with the Lord, whom thou hast loved. O kind ever to the ages of ages, amen. We the faithful bless thee, O Virgin Theotokos, and we glorify thee as is meet and proper. O unshaken city, impregnable battlement, invincible protection, and sheltering retreat, refuge of our souls. <laughs> Thee, we give thanks to Thee for Thy great glory. O Lord, Heavenly King, God the Father, Almighty, O Lord, the only begotten Son, Jesus Christ, and the Holy Spirit. O Lord, God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, that takest away the sin of the world, have mercy on us, thou that takest away the sins of the world. Receive our prayer, thou that sittest at the right hand of the Father, and have mercy on us. For thou only art holy, thou only art Lord Jesus Christ, to the glory of God the Father. Amen. Catholicastin imera nevlogisose, que en eso tono masu isto neona, Varsifo Lord, to keep us this day without sin. Evlogitos i Kyrie, o Theos ton pateron imon, kene ton kede doxas menon to onomas su istus eonas amin. Let thy mercy, O Lord, be upon us according as we have hoped in thee. Evlogitos i Kyrie, didaxon meta dikeomatasu. Blessed art thou, Lord, teach me thy statue. Lord, thou hast been a refuge from generation to generation. I said, O Lord, have mercy on me, heal my soul, for I have sinned against thee. Kyrie prosekate figon didaxon me tu pinto thelimasu otisi o Theos mu. For in thee is the fountain of life, in thy light shall we see love. Paratinon tu eleosu tiskinos kusise, agios o Theos, agios ischiros, agios o thanatos eleison imas. Holy God, holy mighty, Holy immortal, have mercy on us. Agios o Theos, Agios ischiros, Agios o Thanatos, eleison imam. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Holy immortal, have mercy on us. Agios o Προβλητος και εκκλησίας φωστήρ, εγγίνη στο καύχημα ορθοπραξίας κανόν, εδείχθης μακάριε, σίγαρτον και νοτόμον αρνησάμενος πλάνην, έλαμψα σε πεσχάτον εν γνησία τη πίστη, και λόγης παραμυθίας, ο Ιερώνημε. 
have mercy on us, O God, according to thy great mercy, we pray thee, hearken and have mercy. Lord, mercy, Lord, mercy, Lord, Again, mercy. we pray for pious and orthodox Lord, Christians. Mercy, Lord, mercy, Lord, mercy. Again, we pray for our Father and Archbishop Demetrius. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Again, we pray for our brethren, <coughs> priests, priests, monks, deacons, hiero deacons, monks, nuns, and all our brotherhood in Lord, Christ. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Again, we pray for the blessed and ever-memorable founders of this holy monastery and for all of our fathers and brethren gone to their rest before us, the Orthodox here and everywhere piously laid to rest. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have Again, mercy. we pray also for our brethren who are about their tasks and for them that are away and for all our benefactors past and present, for them that minister and have ministered unto us in this holy monastery. Lord have mercy. For a merciful and man befriending God art thou, and unto thee do we send up glory as a Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Let us complete our morning prayer unto the Lord. Lord Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, Lord by thy grace, mercy. that the whole day may be perfect, holy, peaceful, and sinless. Let us Grant ask of the Lord, this, Lord, an angel of peace, a faithful guide, a guardian of our souls and bodies. Let us Grant ask of the Lord, this, Lord, pardon and remission of our sins and offenses. Let us Grant ask of the Lord, this, Lord, things good and profitable for our souls and peace for the world. Let us Grant ask of the Lord, this, Lord, that we may complete the remaining time of our life in peace and repentance. Let us Grant ask of the Lord, this, o Lord. Christian, any to our life, painless, blameless, peaceful, in the good defense before the dread judgment seat of Christ, let us ask Grant of the Lord, this, o Lord. calling to remembrance her all holy, immaculate, most blessed, o glorious Lady of Theotokos, and ever virgin Mary, all the saints. Let us commit ourselves and one another and all our life unto Christ our to God. Thee, o Lord. For God of mercy and compassions and love for man art thou, and unto thee do we send of glory, to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Thou never known to the angels of ages. Amen. And to thy spirit. Let us bow our heads unto the Lord. To Save us, our God, and unto the Holy Son of glory, to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Wisdom. Holy Master, bless. <coughs> Amen. Lord, God, make step us, and blame us, faith, the pious, and orthodox Christians, with the soul, church, and the sacred monastery, down in the tropics of the ages of ages. Amen. Lord, on with the chair of the young, Lord, glory to the seraph, the other corruption, give us the word to God, the word of the very thought, to proceed to magnify. Glory to thee, O Christ, our God, our hope, glory to thee. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, to both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Holy Master, bless. Christ, our true God, by the intercessions of his all immaculate and all blameless Holy Mother, our holy patron, John Max, Woman, Church, Bishop of San Francisco, the wonder worker of the holy and righteous ancestors of God, Joachim and Anna, our righteous father, Hieronymus of Egina, and the holy heart martyr, Dionysius, the Ariapa guide, whose memory we keep, of our father among the saints, John Christus, the Archbishop of Constantinople, whose liturgy we shall celebrate, and of all the saints, may he have mercy on us and save us, for he is good and the friend of man. We receive the supplication of us sinners, O Christ, God, our mercy. Let thy mercy, O Lord, be upon us, according as we have hoped in thee. There will be the merit of those that are remember the founders of the sacred monastery, and of all our fathers, of the God, to the rest of all. The journal will be their memory. Come, let us forgive and fall down before you. For our King and God, O come, let us worship and fall down before Christ, our King and God. O come, let us worship and fall down before Him, Christ, the King and our God. And my words to thee, O Lord, whom I cry, into the voice of my supplication, O my King and my God, when to thee will I pray, O Lord, in the morning shall I hear my voice, in the morning shall I stand before thee, and I shall look upon me. For thou, uh, God, thou willest, the iniquity art thou. He that worketh evil shall not dwell near thee, nor shall transgress or divide before thine eyes. I will see that all the network of iniquity, thou shalt destroy them, and speak a lie. Man is bloody and deceitful, so the Lord of poor that is from me, and the multitude of thy mercy shall I go into thy house. I shall worship toward the holy temple in fear of thee, O Lord, guide me in the way of thy righteousness, because of mine enemies make straight my way before thee, for in their mouth there is no truth, their heart is vain, their throat is an open sepulchre, with their tongues that they spoken deceitfully, judge them, O God. Let them fall down on account of their own devisings, according to the multitude of their ungodliness, cast them out, for they have embittered thee, O Lord, and let all the need that have hope in thee, they shall ever rejoice, and thou shalt dwell among them, and all shall glory in thee, that love thy name, but thou shalt bless the righteous, O Lord, for the shield of thy good pleasure also crown us. Lord, thou hast been our refuge in generation and generation before the mountains came to be, and the earth was formed in the world, even from everlasting to everlasting thou art. Turn up, man, away in the lowliness. Yea, thou hast said, Turn back, ye sons of men, for a thousand years. In thine eyes, the Lord, Lord are but as yesterday that is past, and is watching the night. 
things of no account shall their years be. In the morning that grass from man pass away, in the morning shall it bloom and pass away, in the evening shall it fall and grow withered and dry, for we have fainted away in thy wrath and in thine anger. Have we been troubled? Thou hast set our iniquities before thee, our lifespan is in the light of thy countenance. For all our days are faded away, and in our wrath we fainted away. Our years, like a spider, has spun out our tail, as for the days of our years and our span, and we be score years and ten, and if we be in strength, man, four score years, and what is more than these is toil and travail. For mildness has come upon us, and we shall be chastened. Who knoweth the might of thy wrath, and not a fear of thee, who can recount thine angers, and make thy right hand known to me, and to them that in the harder instructed in wisdom, eternal Lord, how long and be thou entreated concerning thy servants. We are filled in the morning with the mercy of the Lord, and we rejoice and we're glad. In all our days, let us be glad for the days when thou dost humble us for the years when we saw evils and look upon thy servants and upon thy works to thou guide their sons. And let the brightness of the Lord our God be upon us and the works of our hands who thou guide to right upon us. Yea, the work of our hands who thou guide to right of mercy and judgment. When I sing unto thee, O Lord, I will turn and have understanding and blame this path. When will thou come unto me? I have walked in the innocence of my heart in the midst of my house. I have no unlawful thing before mine eyes. The workers of transgressions I have hated. A crooked heart have not cleaved unto me as for the wicked man who turned from me. I knew him not. Him that privately talked against his neighbor, did I drive away from me with him as I was proud, and his heart and satiated, I did not eat mine eyes were upon the faithful of the land, that they might sit with me, the man that walked in the blameless path, and ministered unto me. The proud doer dwelt not in the midst of my house, the speaker of unjust things, prospered not before mine eyes. In the morning I slew all the sinners of the land, utterly to destroy out of the city of the Lord, all the may work iniquity. Glory to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, but now unto the age of the of Amen. Amen. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. <coughs> Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Since thou hast been instructed in uprightness thoroughly, and was vigilant in all things, thou wast clothed with a good conscience, as befitteth one holy. Thou didst draw from uh, the chosen vessel ineffable mysteries, and having kept the faith, thou didst mm-hmm. finish a light course, O Herodotus Dionysius, intercede with Christ God that our souls be saved. Well, both now and ever and unto the ages of ages, amen. What shall we call thee, O full of grace? Heaven, for thou hast made a son of righteousness, to dawn forth paradise, for thou hast brought forth the flower of immortality, virgin, for thou hast remained in the corrupt, pure mother, for thou hast held in thy holy embrace, the son who is the God of all, do thou entreat him to save our souls. My steps do thou direct according to thy saying, and let no iniquity have dominion over me, deliver me from the false accusation of men, and I will keep thy commandments, make thy feast to shine upon thy servant, and teach me thy statutes. Let my mouth be filled with thy praise, O Lord, that I may him thy glory and thy majesty all the day long. He's belighted us, but all the God, holy mighty, holy mortal of mercy in us, for the God, holy mighty, holy mortal of mercy in us, for the God, holy mighty, holy mortal of mercy in us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and both now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. All holy trinity, have mercy on us, Lord, be gracious in our sins, master, pardon our iniquities, holy one, visit and heal our infirmities for the name's sake. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors, and they just not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. Thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. In spirit, thou dost pass through heaven's gates, instructed by the great apostle who attained to the third heaven's heights, and was made rich in all knowledge of things beyond speech. And then thou, O Dionysius, didst in illuminate them that slumbered in the darkness of their incredence. Hence, we all cry out, Rejoice, O Universal Father. Lord of mercy, 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 to 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 mercy. Thou who at all times and at every hour in heaven on earth have worshiped and glorified with Christ God, who are long suffering, plenteous, and mercy, most compassionate, who love us righteousness, mercy, and sinners, who call us all to salvation through the promise of good things to come, receive the Lord our prayers through this hour and guide our life towards the commandments, sanctify our souls, make sure our bodies, correct our thoughts, purify our intentions, and deliver us from every sorrow, evil, and pain. Compass us about with the holy angels that guided and guarded by their array, who may attain to the unity of the faith and the knowledge of thine unapproachable glory. Blessed art thou unto the ages of ages, amen. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages, amen. One honorable than the cherubim and the uncontrollable grace and the seraphim be without corruption, give us further God the word of very theophilus to be magnified in the name of the Lord. Master Blessed, 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 Master
Amen. The Christ that you led us in light and sanctuary, man that cometh into the world, and the light of the countenance be shined upon us, that it will be held in the porch of light, and God has steps in the performance of the commandments by the intercessions of the Almighty Mother of all thy saints. Amen. Glory to thee, O Christ, our God of hope, glory to thee. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, for now, and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, holy Master God. Christ, our true God, by the intercessions of His all immaculate and all blameless Holy Mother of our Holy Patron, John Max Movich, Archbishop of San Francisco, the one work of the holy and righteous ancestors of God, Joachim and Anna, of our righteous Father, Hieronymus of Egina, and the holy Harmar Dionysius, the, Ariop- the Ariopagite, whose memory we keep in of our Father among the saints, John Curses, the Archbishop of Constantinople's liturgy, we shall celebrate of all the saints, we have mercy on us and save us for his Master, Lord Jesus Christ, we God, have mercy on us and save us. Lord Jesus Christ, Son of God, have mercy on me. Lord Jesus Christ, Son of God, have mercy on me. Lord Jesus Christ, Son of God, have mercy on me. Lord Jesus Christ, Son of God, have mercy on me. Lord Jesus Christ, Son of God, have mercy on me. Lord Jesus Christ, Son of God, have mercy on me. Lord Jesus Christ, Son of God, have mercy on me. Lord Jesus Christ, Son of God, have mercy on me. Lord Jesus Christ, Son of God, have mercy on me. Lord Jesus Christ, Son of God, have mercy on me. Lord Jesus Christ, Son of God, have mercy on me. Lord Jesus Christ, Son of God, have mercy on me. Lord Jesus Christ, Son of God, have mercy on me. Lord Jesus Christ, Son of God, have mercy on me. Lord Jesus Christ, Son of God, have mercy on me. Lord Jesus Christ, Son of God, have mercy on me. Lord Jesus Christ, Son of God, have mercy on me. Lord Jesus Christ, Son of God, have mercy on me. Lord Jesus Christ, Son of God, have mercy on me. Lord Jesus Christ, Son of God, have mercy on me. Lord Jesus Christ, Son of God, have mercy on me. Lord Jesus Christ, Son of God, have mercy on me. Lord Jesus Christ, Son of God, have mercy on me. Lord Jesus Christ, Son of God, have mercy on me. Lord Jesus Christ, Son of God, have mercy on me. Lord Jesus Christ, Son of God, have mercy on me. Bless Master. Blessed is the kingdom of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Thou never known to the ages of ages. Amen. In peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For the peace, my bow, and for the salvation of our souls, let us pray to Lord, the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For the peace of the whole world, the good estate of the holy churches of God, and the union of all, let us pray Lord, to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For this holy house, and for them that with faith, reverence, and fear of God enter herein, let us pray Lord, to have the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For our Father and Archbishop to be Lord, Jesus. have mercy. And in synodia for the venerable presbytery, the diaconate in Christ, for all the clergy and the people, let us pray Lord, to have the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For this sacred monastery, this town, for every city, town, and country, and the faithful that dwell therein, let us Lord, pray. Have Lord, have mercy. For seasonable weather, abundance of the fruits of the earth, and peaceful times, let us pray. Lord, have mercy. <coughs> for them that travel by sea, land, and air, for the sick, the afflicted, for captives, and their salvation, let us Lord, pray. Have Lord, have mercy. For our deliverance from all tribulation, wrath, danger, necessity, let us pray. Lord, have Lord. mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God. Lord, Lord have praise. mercy. All eternal remembrance are all holy, immaculate, most blessed, most glorious, holy, faith, faith, and those who never forget. Pray with all the saints. Let us commit ourselves and one another in all our life unto Christ to our God. Lord. Unto thee is to all glory, honor, and worship of the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Agathon texomologista to Kyrio Kev, salin to nomatisu ipsiste, tes presiestis teotokus, o tersos anima. To proclaim in the morning thy mercy and thy truth by night, by the intercessions of the Theotokos, so Savior, save us. Upright is the Lord our God, and there is no unrighteousness in him. By the intercessions of the Theotokos, so Savior, save us. Glory to the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Both now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. By the intercessions of the Theotokos, O Savior, save us. Ticket, 
Meta panda tuna yum 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 by the intercessions of thy saints, save us, O Lord. Ega restereos tinikumeni nitisus, alef disete presvies ton agion sus, os animas kirie. Holiness becometh thy house, O Lord, unto length of days. By the intercessions of thy saints, save us, O Lord. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Both now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Only begotten Son, and Word of God, thou who art immortal, and it's then for our salvation to become incarnate of the Holy Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary, without change becoming man, and who was crucified, O Christ God, trampling down death by death, thou who art one of the Holy Trinity, glorified together with the Father and the Holy Spirit, save us. Again and again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. Now for us, have mercy on us and keep us, O God. Lord, Lord have mercy. Glory to remembrance of our holy immaculate, most glorious, and glorious and Lady Theotokos, and the Virgin Mary, with all the saints. Let us commit ourselves and one another in all our life unto Christ our to Lord. To thee, O Lord. We are good and man befitting God our town, and to thee do we send up glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, found ever and unto the ages. Amen. Amen. Defta galiaso metodo kiria la laxo mento theoto sotirimon. So soi ni masi e theu o enagis tav mastos psalondasi alleluia. Let us come before his countenance with thanksgiving and with psalms let us shout in jubilation unto him. For the Lord is a great God and a great King over all the earth. O Son of God who art wondrous in the saints. Save us who chant to the Alleluia. For in his hand are the ends of the earth, and the hearts of the mountains are his. For the sea is his, and he made it, and the dry land his hands have fashioned. O Son of God, who art wondrous in the saints, save us who chant to the Alleluia. Sophia, for thee. Come, let us worship and fall down before Christ. O Son of God, who art wondrous in the saints, save us, we chant to thee, Alleluia. Since, since thou hast been instructed in uprightness thoroughly and was vigilant in all things, I was clothed with good conscience as befit. Since thou hast been instructed in the brightness thoroughly, and was vigilant in all things, thou was clothed with a good conscience as befit it, when holy, thou didst draw from the chosen vessel ineffable mysteries, and having kept the faith, thou didst finish a like course. O Hiram Martyr Dionysius, Intercede with Christ our God, that our souls be saved. Reaching forth with thy whole soul unto the Lord thy God, thou didst attain to the stature of the great fathers of old, striving after their humility and love for God. And as a sharer in their grace, thou dost cover with thy prayers the faithful that seek thy succor, and ever pray to the Savior, O blessed Hieronymus, that we be saved. Like a spiritual day star in heaven's firmament, thou didst encompass the whole world, thou didst enlighten men's souls. Hence thy name is glorified throughout the east and west, for thou didst shine forth with the grace of the Son of Righteousness, O John, our beloved Shepherd. Wherefore cease not to entreat Christ, that he show mercy and redeem our souls. By teachings and godly works, thou didst enlighten thy flock. By wonders and signs of grace, thou art a light for the world, O clement, beloved of God. Wherefore the Slavic peoples magnify thee with ardor, for through thee they are now grafted to Christ our Savior. Beseech him, O sacred herald, to illuminate and save our souls. In spirit thou didst pass through heaven's gates, instructed by 
the great apostle who attained to the third heaven sights and was made rich in all knowledge of things beyond speech and then thou Dionysius didst illuminate then thou slumbered in the darkness of their ignorance Hence we all cry out, Rejoice, O Universal Father. Lord, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, like Moses thou spakest face to face with God as a friend, and thou wast thyself a fiery pillar of ceaseless prayer. O Father Hieronymus, wherefore do thou lead us from the Egypt of passions, out of thickest darkness to the light of salvation? For thou possessest boldness with Christ, who was well pleased in thee. Both thou and ever in stages of ages, amen. O protection of Christians that cannot be put to shame, mediation unto the Creator most constant. O despise not the suppliant voices of those who have sinned, but be thou quick, O good one, to come unto our aid, who in faith cry unto thee. Hasten to intercession, and speed thou to make supplication, Thou who dost ever protect, O Theotokos, them that are under thee. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For our holy God, for God, for the peace and the glory of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and on to the ages of ages. Amen. Agios, O Theos, Agios, Ischiros, Agios Athanatos eleison imas. Holy God, holy, mighty, holy, immortal, have mercy on us. Siati Boja, siati krepki, siati besmertni pomilui nas. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. But now and ever, and to the ages of ages, amen. Holy, immortal, have mercy on us. in glory and they shall rejoice upon their bed. The saints shall boast in glory and they shall rejoice upon their bed. Sing unto the Lord a new song, his praises in the church of the saints. The saints shall boast in glory and they shall rejoice upon their bed. The reading is from the epistle of St. Paul to the Philippians. Brethren, as ye have always obeyed, not as in my presence only, but now much more in my absence, work out your own salvation with fear and trembling. For it is God that worketh in you, both to will and to do, for the sake of good will. Do all things without murmurings and disputings, so that ye may be faultless and guileless, the sons of God blameless in the midst of a crooked and perverse generation among whom ye shine as luminaries in the world, holding forth the word of life, that I may boast in the day of Christ. Brethren, conduct yourselves worthily of the gospel of Christ, that whether I come and see you or else be absent, I may hear of your affairs, that ye stand fast in one spirit, with one soul, striving together for the faith of the gospel, and being frightened in nothing by your adversaries, which to them is evidence of perdition, but to you of salvation, and this from God. For unto you it is given in the behalf of Christ, not only to believe in him, but also to suffer for his sake, having the same struggle which ye saw in me, and now here in me, 
If there be therefore any comfort in Christ, in any consolation of love, in any communion of the Spirit, if any bowels and mercies fulfill ye my joy, that ye be like-minded, having the same love, being of one soul and of one mind. Let nothing be done in contention or vainglory, but in lowliness of mind that each esteem other better than themselves. Do not look each of you to his own things, but each one also oh, to the things of others. The Alleluia is in the plague of the second tone. unto ages of ages. His horn shall be exalted with glory. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Wisdom of Christ, the Spirit of the Gospel, peace be unto all. And to thy Spirit, the readings from the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke. Glory to thee, O Lord, glory to thee. Blessed the Lord said to the Jews which came to him, Woe unto you that are rich, for ye have received your consolation. Woe unto you that are full, for ye shall hunger. Woe unto you that laugh now, for ye shall mourn and weep. Woe unto you when all men shall speak well of you, for so did their fathers to the false prophets. But I say unto you which hear, love your enemies, do good to them which hate you, bless them that curse you, and pray for them which despitefully use you. <clears throat> and to him that smiteth thee on the one cheek, offer also the other. And him that taketh away thy cloak, forbid not to take thy coat also. Give to every man that asketh of thee, and of him that taketh away thy goods, ask them not again. The Lord said to his disciples, Whosoever shall confess me before men, him shall the Son of Man also confess before the angels of God. But he that denieth me before men shall be denied before the angels of God. And whosoever shall speak a word against the Son of Man, it shall be forgiven him. But in unto him that blasphemeth against the Holy Spirit, it shall not be forgiven. And when they shall bring you unto the synagogues, and unto magistrates and powers, take ye no thought how or what thing ye shall answer, or what ye shall say. For the Holy Spirit shall teach you in the same hour what he ought to say. Glory to thee, O Lord. Glory to thee. Let us all say with our whole soul, with our whole mind, let us say. The God of our fathers, we pray thee, hearken and have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Have mercy on us, O God, according to thy great mercy, we pray thee, hearken and have mercy. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord. Have Again, mercy. we pray for pious and orthodox Christians. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord. Again, have mercy. we pray for our Father and Archbishop Lord, Beatrice. Lord, have mercy. And his synodial. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord. Have mercy. Lord have Again, mercy. we pray for our fathers, brethren, priests, monks, deacons, tyro deacons, monks, nuns, and all our brotherhood in Christ. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Again, we pray for the Mercy, life, peace, health, salvation, visitation, pardon, and remission of the sins of all pious and orthodox Christians, the founders, benefit, 
the founders, donors, and benefactors of this holy monastery and for all who keep this holy peace. Lord mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy. <clears throat> Again we pray for the blessed and ever memorable founders of this holy monastery and for all of our fathers and brethren gone to their rest before us, the Orthodox here and everywhere past. Lord mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy. Again we pray also for our brethren who are about their tasks and for all of them that are away and for all our benefactors past and present. For them that minister and have ministered unto us in this holy Lord, monastery. Lord, have mercy. Be merciful and may befriending God art thou, and unto thee, new Son of glory, to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Pray, catechumens, to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Be faithful for the catechumens, let us Lord, pray. Lord, have mercy. That the Lord may have mercy on them. Lord, have mercy. That he may catechize them with the word of truth. Lord, have mercy. That he may reveal unto them the gospel of righteousness. Lord, have mercy. That he may unite them to his holy Catholic and apostolic Lord church. Have mercy. Save them, have mercy on them, help them, and keep them, O God, Lord, by thy grace. Mercy. Ye catechumens, bow your heads unto the Lord. To the Lord. And they also with us may glorify the all honorable and majestical name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. As many as our catechumens depart, ye catechumens depart. As many as our catechumens depart, let none of the catechumens remain. As many as are the faithful, again and again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, by thy grace. Lord have mercy. Wisdom. For unto thee is to all glory, honor, and worship of the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Paki, Paki, Mirum Gosperu, Pomorum Sia. Sas to peace, Pasi, Pomulo, Yisukrani, Nas, Pose to you, Gaudas, for the Pomulo. being guarded always under thy dominion, we may send up glory unto thee, to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen.
Let us pray. Lord, to have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, by thy grace. Lord, have mercy. That the whole day may be perfect, holy, peaceful, and sinless. Let us Grand ask the Lord. Lord. Angel of peace and faithful God, a guardian of our souls and bodies, let us ask Grand the Lord. Our sins and offenses that is asked. Grant this, O Lord. Things good and profitable for our souls and peace for the world that is asked. Grant this, O Lord. That we may complete the remaining time of our life in peace and repentance that is asked. Grant this, O Lord. All Christian ending to our life. Painless, blameless, peaceful in the good defense before the dread judgment seat of Christ that is asked of the Lord. Lord. Calling to remembrance are all holy, immaculate, most blessed, glorious, lady, theotokos, and ever good and married with all the saints. Let us commit ourselves and one another in all our life unto Christ our Lord. Passions of thine only begotten Son, with whom thou art blessed, together with thine all holy and good life, creating spirit, thou endeavor unto the ages of ages. Amen. And to thy spirit. Let us love one another that with one mind we may confess. Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, the Trinity, one in essence and undivided. The doors, the doors, and wisdom, let us attend. 
I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth and of all things, visible and invisible, and in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the Son of God, the only begotten, begotten of the Father before all ages. Light of light, true God of true God, begotten, not made, being of one essence with the Father, by whom all things were made, who for us men and for our salvation came down from the heavens and was incarnate of the Holy Spirit of the Virgin Mary and became man. <coughs> And was crucified for us in a Pontius Pilate, suffered and was buried and arose again on the third day according to the scriptures. And ascended into the heavens and set us at the right hand of the Father and shall come again with glory to judge both the living and the dead whose kingdom shall have no end. And in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, <coughs> who proceedeth from the Father with the Father and the Son, together is worshipped and glorified who speak by the prophets. In one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church, I confess one baptism for the remission of sins. I look for the resurrection of the dead and life of the age to come. Amen. Let us stand well, let us stand with fear, let us attend that we may offer the holy oblation in peace. A mercy of peace, a sacrifice of praise. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God the Father and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with thy spirit, let us lift up our hearts. We lift them to the Lord. Let us give thanks unto the Lord. Axion
most blessed, glorious Lady, through all the hosts, and ever Virgin Mary. <coughs> Accepted them upon his holy noetic altar above the heavens for an odor of spiritual fragrance, will send down upon us in return the divine grace and the gift of the Holy Spirit. Let us Lord pray mercy. for our deliverance from all tribulation, wrath, danger, necessity. Let us Lord pray for the mercy. Lord. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, Lord by the grace. Mercy. That the whole day may be perfect, holy, peaceful, and sinless. Let us Grant ask for the Lord. Us, o Lord. An angel of peace, a faithful guide, a guardian of our souls and bodies. Let us Grant ask for the Lord. O Lord. Pardon and admission of our sins and offenses. Let us Grant ask for the Lord. O Lord. Things good and profitable for our souls and peace for the world. Let us Grant ask for the Lord. O Lord. That we may complete the remaining time of our life in peace and repentance. Let us Grant ask for the Lord. O Lord. A Christian ending to our life, painless blameless, peaceful, and the good defense before the dread judgment seat of Christ. Let us Grant ask for the Lord. Lord. Having asked for the unity of the faith and the communion of the Holy Spirit, let us commit ourselves and one another in all our life unto Christ to our God. To the Lord. And account us worthy, O Sovereign Master, that with fullness and without condemnation we may call upon thee the hand of God as Father and to say. Our Father, <coughs> our Father, which art in the heavens, Hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. 
and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. Πάτερ μου δεν σαρανίσα για σε το όνομά σου, έλθα ότι η Βασιλεία σου γεννηθεί το θέλημά σου, ως την ουρανό και επί της γης, τον άρτομο των επιούσεων, δώσε μη σημείνου και άφησε τα οφηλήματα ημών, ως και μη σε αφήμη της οφελέτης ημών, και μη σε ενέγγιση μας πειρασμών, αλλά ρίσε μας από του πονηρού. Ότσε να σιζες είναι νεβέσια εκλάσια τίτσια ημιά Τουέ δα πρίδε ψάρστια Τουέ δα πούδε Τουέλα Τουέα Ιάκονα νεβέσινε ζεμλή. Βλέπ να σου σωστή δάζναν πνέσει ο στάβιναν τόγκι νάσια Ιάκο ζεμία στα βλέπ των νικών νάσιμ. Η νεβε την άσφη σκουσένει ενώ εις μπάβινα σου πλουκάβα γκό. For thine, is, for thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, thou never and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Peace be unto the Lord. And to thy spirit. Bow your heads unto the Lord. Son, with whom thou art blessed, and together with thine all holy and good life, creating spirit, thou and ever and unto the ages of ages. Therefore, I pray thee, have mercy on me, and forgive me my transgressions, voluntary and involuntary, in word and deed, in knowledge and in ignorance, and vouchsafe that uncondemned I may partake of thy immaculate mysteries, and the remission of sins, and of the life everlasting. Amen. Behold, I approach divine communion, and make a burning that I shall partake, for fire art thou which burneth thee unworthy, but purify thou me of every stain. For thy mystics suffer, O Son of God, receive me today as a communicant, for I will not speak of the mystery to thine enemies, nor will I give thee a kiss as a Judas, but like the thief do I confess thee. Remember me, O Lord, in the kingdom. Tremble, O man, as thou beholdest the deifying blood, for it is a burning coal, consuming thee, and worthy the body of God, both deifieth and nourisheth me, and deifieth the spirit, and wonder should he nourish the mind. Thou smit me with yearning, O Christ, and by the divine love, as thou changed me, but with an immaterial fire, consume my sins, and come me worthy to be filled with delight in thee, the leaping for joy, good one, and may magnify thee two comings. And to the splendor of thy saints' house, light thee, and worthy one, enter, for should I dare to enter the bridal chamber, and my vestor doth betray me, for it is not a wedding garment, and if one bound should be cast up by the angels. When the Lord of the file men of my soul and save me since I order a friend of man. O man befriending master, Lord Jesus Christ my God, let not these holy gifts be unto me for judgment through mine unworthiness, but for the purification and sanctification of both soul and body. And as an earnest of life in the kingdom of come, for it is good for me to cleave unto God and a place in the Lord the hope of my salvation. O the mystic supper of Son of God, receive me today as a communicant for I will not speak of the mystery to thine enemies, nor will I give thee a kiss as a Judas, but like the thief do I confess thee. Remember me, O Lord, in thy kingdom, remember me, O Master in the kingdom, remember me, O Holy One in thy kingdom. O Hero Mother of Christ, intercede in our behalf. When thou becamest a disciple of the divine Paul, the seer of heavenly things, O Dionysius, thou forthwith becamest an initiate of heaven and a divine herald. O Hero Mother of Christ, intercede in our behalf. Since thou wast illumined by divine grace of blessed Dionysius, illumine the souls of those who praise thee, that they may comprehend thy divinely inspired teachings. O Hero Mother of Christ, intercede in our behalf. In thy purity of mind and soul, thou wast deemed worthy to learn the lightning splendor of the heavenly arrays, and wast vouchsafed to behold the choirs of Dionysius. 
most holy Theotokos Sevos, thou art the light bearing tr bright chamber of the unfathomable incarnation of the artificer of all, O Mother of God, for it was from thee that he clothed himself in our flesh. O Haramad of Christ, intercede in our behalf. Caught up above the vaults of the heavens, O righteous one, thou hast made clear to all men with exalted utterances and wise expressions the orders and armies and splendors of them that are beyond this world. O Haramad of Christ, intercede in our behalf. Reveling in exalted divine vision, O glorious and divinely blessed Dionysius, thou spakest with divine authority throughout thine explanation of the divine names, having become by grace a theologian of the Trinity. O Haramad of Christ, intercede in our behalf. Dead to things present in thy desire for God, and intensely exercising thyself in the ascetical discipline, O Father, thou becamest a God-bearing instrument of life engendering gifts beyond all understanding. Most holy Theotokos, save us. Through the cultivation of the all-affecting spirit, O Virgin, thou broughtest forth fruit, even a body for the mass of all, in which he condemned the sin of the world and made everlasting life to pour forth. O Hiram, Martyr of Christ, intercede in our behalf. Thou hast settled the good order of the churches, O Father Dionysius, for in them, by giving form to representations of sacred things, thou hast depicted with evident figures the formless powers through which the whole godly-minded company of the faithful is mystically initiated and, en and enlightened. O Haram, Mother of Christ, intercede in our behalf. The streams of thy theology, O God, inspired Dionysius, abundantly water the rational and ever verdant meadows planted upon upright doctrines. For the house preached the august monarchy as a unity of essence and a trinity of persons. O Haram, Mother of Christ, intercede in our behalf. The angelic hierarchy's intense longing and desire for God and their unbending aspiration towards the divine and unattainable height hast thou wisely ta taught, O Hierarch, unto them that acquire faith. Glory to the power, O friend of man. Most holy Theotokos, save us. Thy son became the priestly minister of salvation for all who sing their praise, O Virgin, and thy guide and enlightener and, righteous, and righteousness and redemption. Wherefore, with one accord, we the faithful truly and rightly glorify thee as Theotokos. O Hera, martyr of Christ, intercede in our behalf. The sound of thy words borne forth like the resounding of heaven, thundered upon the minds of the godless with the word of grace, and made the hearts of the faithful to shine with the brightly glittering splendor of divine doctrines. O Hara, martyr of Christ, intercede in our behalf. Thou was like a merchant man seeking for pearls, O blessed hierarch Dionysius, and finding the one pearl of truly great price, thou didst marvel at his deifying rays of light, and gave us thanks to God. O Hara, martyr of Christ, intercede in our behalf. In thy surpassing wisdom, thou camest to love the fount of wisdom, O Father, and conducting thy life by the affection and love thou hadst for him, thou becamest great, and thou pourest forth ever flowing rivers of divine waters, O inspired of God. Most holy Theotokos, save us. Since thou art full of grace, O Mother of God, thou didst receive that beauty created in majesty which formed all things by his will alone, and made us comely with the divine beauty and the enlightenment of true religion. O Hara, Mother of Christ, intercede in our behalf. Lawfully practicing wisdom, thou didst obtain gifts of wisdom, O blessed Dionysius, and speaking of the divine by divine inspiration, thou hast left thine orthodox doctrines unto us, the faithful, who while reveling therein declare thee blessed. O Hiram, martyr of Christ, intercede in our behalf. Adorned with understanding worthy of God, O godly minded Dionysius, thou didst incline thine ear to thy divine teacher, and wast initiated by him into the wisdom that transcendeth this world. O Hiram, martyr of Christ, intercede in our behalf. Thy life is wondrous, O saint, and thy word more wondrous still. Thy tongue is radiant with light, thy mouth breathes with fire, and thy mind is godlike to the uttermost, o blessed Father Dionysius. Most holy Theotokos, save us. With the voice of Gabriel we cry, Rejoice to thee, from whom the author of life and friend of man inexpressibly became man for our sakes and dwelt among men. O higher martyr of Christ, intercede in our behalf. Like heavenly rain on thirsting earth, thy teachings give increase to the hearts of the faithful, which ever long for them, and they teach them to cry out insatiably, Blessed is the God of our fathers. O Hara, martyr of Christ, intercede in our behalf. With the understanding of a godly mind, thou wrotest to those in the corporeal minds, and inspired by the hymns of praise of all blessed Dionysius, thou hast instructed the church to chant the hymn, Blessed is the God of our fathers. O Hara, martyr of Christ, intercede in our behalf. Thou hast seen to be a fitly framed vessel of the All Holy Spirit, and most prophetically declare, declaring his inspirations and manifestations, that is cry out in joy, blessed the God of our fathers. Most holy Theotokos, save us. Behold, now is fulfilled the foretelling of the Sayas, for thou hast conceived God the Word in thy womb, O Virgin, and the brought us forth the giver of life, to whom we all cry, blessed the God of our fathers. O, o Hiram, martyr of Christ, deceive in our behalf. 
that became as the, as the limpid looking glass, making them mind receptive of the clear manifestations of the virtue of all blessed Dionysius, and receiving the sparkling rays of the splendors that pass all understanding, that is cry, bless Christ, O ye priests, supremely exalted, O ye people, to all the endless ages. O higher martyr of Christ, intercede in our behalf. Most abundantly hath grace been poured forth on their lips, whence thou hast set forth inspired teachings, marvelously unfolding, elucidating, and revealing their meaning with far shining clarity unto us and sing with faith. Bless Christ, O ye priests, supremely exalted, O ye people, to all the endless ages. O higher martyr of Christ, intercede in our behalf. The all renowned metropolis of Athens has become more notable through the Odenesians, since it hath offered thee as an altogether sacred first fruit unto Christ, the King of all. As thou singest without ceasing, bless Christ, O ye priests, supremely exalted, O ye people, to all the endless ages. Most holy Theotoko, save us. O blameless Mother of God, blot out the wounds of my soul and the souls of my sins. If thou hast borne a son who hath power easily to loose from their indissoluble bond those who are shake, shackled with chains of offenses, for he is the sole benefactor and only giver of life. O Harbor Mother of Christ, intercede in our behalf. Deemed worthy to see the holy apostles and to share their labors, thou also became a, part a partaker of their glory. Together with them, thou dost hasten to behold the life and the truly life originating body of the only Theotokos, the most venerable, whom we magnify as his meat. O Hara, Mother of Christ, intercede in our behalf. Thou becamest an heir of the divine kingdom in the heavens as a lawful high priest, O Father, and as an invincible athlete, you mingle the unction of priesthood with the blood of martyrdom. Therefore thou hast worthily received two full crowns of sacred initiate Dionysius. O higher martyr of Christ, intercede in our behalf. O wise hierarch Dionysius, initiate of ineffable visions, since thou hast boldness with God, continually intercede that those who piously praise thee be rescued from temptations as a sacred revealer of the mystically concealed and divinely sovereign goodness. Most holy Theotoko, save us. Grant mighty victory over heresies unto the august church which Christ, thy Son, hath acquired with his own precious blood, since he is good, and save it from perils or full of grace, and deliver us from the dominion that, that hath gained ma mastery over us. I shall open my mouth to chant, and with the Spirit shall I be filled, and where shall I now pull forth unto the Mother and Queen, and I shall be seen in joyous jubilation, acclaiming exultantly all of her wondrous deeds. Most Holy Mother of God, save us. O Christ, book endowed with life and clearly sealed with the Spirit's grace, on seeing thee, O pure one, the great archangel cried out and exclaimed, Rejoice, O vessel of rejoicing, through whom our first mother's curse utterly is dispelled. Most Holy Theotoko, save us. Rejoice, Virgin Bride of God, for thou art Adam's recovery. Rejoice, O blameless one, thou art the death knell of Hades, and the only king's pure dwelling place and palace. Rejoice, fiery throne of the only omnipotent. Most Holy Theotoko, save us. Rejoice, O thou only one who blossomed forth the unfading rose. Rejoice, for to thee was born the apple fragrant and sweet. For thou, o made, for thou art, O maid, the only king's pure fragrance. Rejoice, one that wedded one ransom of all the world. Most holy Theotoko, save us. O treasure of purity, rejoice, for from our most grievous fall we rose once again through thee. Rejoice, O lily most sweet, filling faithful men with fragrance, O pure lady. O incense of peerless scent, priceless and, 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 priceless and precious myrrh. Confess that thou art true, the Christ, the Son, of the God who came into the world to save sinners, of whom I am the chief. Furthermore, I believe that this is indeed thy immaculate body, and that this is indeed thy precious blood. Wherefore, I pray thee, have mercy on me, and forgive me my transgressions, both voluntary and involuntary, and would indeed knowledge and ignorance and vows, if that I condemn thee, partake of thy immaculate mysteries, unto the remission of sins and life.
sanctification, meditating on thy righteousness all the day long. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. I, having partaken of the divine, holy, immaculate, immortal, heavenly light, creating fearful mysteries of Christ, let us worthily give thanks unto the Lord. Lord have mercy. <coughs> Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, by thy Lord grace. Have mercy. Having asked that the whole day may be perfect, holy, peaceful, and sinless, <coughs> let us commit ourselves and one another and all our life unto Christ to our God. Thee, o Lord. <coughs> Without our sanctification, and unto thee do we send up glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, thou and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. In peace, let us depart. In the name of the Lord. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord in mercy. O Lord, who blesses them and bless thee, and sanctifies them to put their trust in thee, save thy people, and bless them, and inheritance, preserve the fullness of thy church. Sanctify them and love the beauty of thy house, and thou in turn glorify them by the divine power, and forsake us not to hope in thee. Give peace to thy world, to thy churches, to the priests, to those in authority, and to all thy people. For every good giving and every perfect gift is from above and cometh down from thee, the Father of lights, and unto thee to be Son of glory, and thanksgiving, and worship to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Blessed be the name of the Lord, from henceforth and forevermore. Blessed be the name of the Lord, from henceforth and forevermore. Christoti taek didaktis ke nifon en pasi, nagatin sinidis in iero prepos en disamenos, in disa sectus ke vos tis eklogista porita, ke tin pis tin tiris estonis on dromon te telekas, iero martis dionisie, presveve Christoto teos otinetas psychasimon. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. <coughs> Reaching forth with thy whole soul unto the Lord thy God, thou didst attain to the stature of the great fathers of old, striving after their humility and love for God, and as a sharer in their grace, thou didst cover with thy prayers the faithful that seek thy succor, and ever pray to the Savior, 
O blessed Hieronymus, that we be saved. <laughs> Τη φρεσία κύριε πάντων των Αγίων και τη Θεοτόκου. Τη συνειδητή δόση μην και ελέισον ημά ω μόνο συγκτήρμο. Λόρ εμπερσί. Ο Δάδο has brought all things into perfection by the word of the Lord and has commanded the earth to produce fruits of every kind for our enjoyment and sustenance. He was grains to show the three children and Daniel to be fairer than them, but the Babylon lived sumptuously. Do thou, supremely good king, bless these grains also together with these diverse fruits and sanctify <coughs> them that partake thereof. For it is under thy glory, o Lord, that they have been presented by thy servants in honor and memory of our holy, of the holy higher martyr Denise, the Areopagite, the holy martyrs Rusticus and Eleftherius of Athens, the holy martyr Theoctistus, <coughs> the holy higher martyr Dionysius, Archbishop of Alexandria, and the eight martyrs with him. The holy martyr Theogenes of Antioch, the holy martyr Theo Theotechnus, our righteous father John the Hosevite, Bishop of Caesarea in Palestine, our righteous father Ezekius of Mount Horeb, the holy har martyrs Hewald the Dark and Hewald the Fair of Northumbria, our righteous father Dionysius the Recluse of the Key of Caves, the holy new har martyr Agathangelus Metropolitan of Yaroslavl, and our righteous father Euronymous of Egina. And also in memory of them that have finished their life in godly faith. And do thou, O good one, grant unto them that have prepared these things, and celebrate this memory. There every salutary request and the enjoyment of thine everlasting good things. By the intercessions of our Almighty Lady Theotokos, and ever Virgin Mary, of the Holy Heart Martyrs, the Nisis, the, the Areopagite, our righteous Father, Euronymous, the Vegina, <coughs> whose memory also we celebrate. And of all thy saints, for thou art he that blesseth and sanctifieth all things, O Christ our God. And unto thee do we send up glory with thy beginningless Father, and then all holy and good and life, creating spirit, down to ever unto the ages of ages. Amen. Lord have mercy. Blessing of the Lord's mercy come upon you by his divine grace and love for man always down to ever unto the ages of ages. Amen. Glory to thee, O Christ our God, our hope, glory to thee. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, to both now and ever under the ages of ages. Amen. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Holy Master, bless. Christ, our true God, by the intercessions of his all immaculate and all blameless Holy Mother, by the power of the honor and life giving cross, by the protection of the venerable heavenly body of his powers, by the supplications of the venerable glorious prophet, forerunner, Baptist John, of the holy glorious and all famed apostles, Peter and Paul, the chiefs of twelve and the seventy of our Father among the saints, Nicholas and Mary Alicia. O the holy glorious great martyrs, George and Trophy Bear, Demetrius, and Mercy of the holy glorious and triumphantly victorious martyrs, of our righteous and God bearing fathers, Clement and Noma, Volker, the wonder workers, Seraphim of Sarov, Herman of Alaska, and Ascension of Ali of Alaska, Tico the Confessor, Patriarch of Moscow, Peter the Aliyut, our fathers among the saints, and new confessors, Philaret of New York, the Carrie of Armenia, and Chrysostom of Florina, our righteous mothers, Xenia and Tharasia, the fools for Christ's sake, of our holy patron. John Max Moment, Archbishop of San Francisco, the wonder worker of the Holy and Righteous and Ancestors of God, Joey Kim and Anna, of the Holy Hour, Martyr Dionysius, the Areopagite, and our righteous Father, Euronymous of Egina, whose memory we keep, and of our Father among the saints, John Christus, the Archbishop of Constantinople, whose liturgy we have celebrated of all the saints. May have mercy on us and save us from his good and the friend of man. <laughs> Amen. And having attained the good communion of the life, creating a mist to give, straightway give praise and great thanksgiving and fervently from thy soul, crying to God, Glory to thee, O God, glory to thee, O God, glory to thee, O God. I thank thee, O Lord, my God, that thou hast not rejected me, the sinner, but hast deemed me worthy to be communicant of thy holy mysteries. I thank thee that thou hast deemed me worthy, unworthy as I am, to partake of thine immaculate and heavenly gifts. But O man repenting mass, it is died for us and rise again as it is grant us these thy dread and life creating mysteries for the benefit and sanctification of our souls and bodies. Grant also that these may be unto me for the healing of both soul and body, for the very of everything hostile, for the enlightenment of the eyes of my heart, for the peace of the powers of my soul, for love and fame, for faith unashamed, for the plenitude of wisdom, for the keeping of thy commandments, for an increase of thy divine grace, and for the attainment of thy kingdom. That being kept by them in thy holiness, I may ever remember thy grace, and never live for myself, but for thee, our master and benefactor. And thus, when from this life I have passed in the hope of life eternal, may I attain to everlasting rest, for the sun is unceasing of them that keep festival, and unending the delight of them that behold the ineffable beauty of thy countenance. Without the true desire and the unutterable gladness of them that love thee, O Christ, to God, and all creation praiseth thee unto the ages. Amen. 
O Master Christ, God, King of the ages and Creator of all, I thank Thee for all the good things Thou hast bestowed upon me and for the participation and the immaculate and life-creating mysteries. I pray Thee therefore, good one, Thou friend of man, guard me under Thy protection and in the shadow of Thy wings, and grant that with a pure conscience till my last breath I may worthily partake of Thy holy gifts and the forgiveness of sins and life everlasting. Mm -hmm. For Thou art the bread of life, the wellspring of holiness, and the giver of all that is good. And to Thee we send up glory with the Father and the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Thou who givest me willingly as nourishment, thy flesh, thou who art fire, and dost consume the unworthy scorch me not to my Maker, but rather pass through me for the right ordering of my members into all my joints, my reins, and my heart. Burn up the thorns of all mine offenses, purify my soul, sanctify my mind, make for my knees and bones, enlighten the simple unity of my five senses, nail down the whole of me with thy fear, ever shelter, guard, and keep me from every soul corrupting deed and word. Purify and cleanse and order me aright, make me calmly, give me understanding and enlighten me. Show me forth as the habitation of the Spirit only and no longer as the habitation of sin. That is thine abode from the entrance in of thy communion, every evil doer and passion may flee from me like fire. As intercessors I bring to thee all the sanctified the ranks of the incorporeal powers, thy forerunner, the wise apostles, and further, further thy pure and spotless mother. The prayers of these receive my compassion with Christ and make of me who worship be a child of light. For thou alone art our sanctification, a good one, and the illumination of our souls. And to thee, as to our God and Master, we each day, as is fitting, all send up glory. May thy holy body, O Lord Jesus Christ, our God, be unto me for, the eternal, for eternal life, and thy precious blood for the forgiveness of sins. And may this Eucharist be unto me for joy, health, and gladness. And in thy dread second coming, make me the sinner worthy to stand at the right hand of thy glory by the intercessions of thy Immaculate Mother and of all thy saints. Amen. <coughs> O oh, Holy Lady, that talk was the light of my darkened soul, my hope and protection, my refuge and consolation, and my joy. I thank thee that thou hast deemed me the unworthy one, worthy to be a communicant of the immaculate body and the precious blood of thy Son. But do thou who givest birth to the true light, enlighten the natic eyes of my heart. O thou who didst conceive the source of immortality, give life to me who am dead in sin. O thou who art the compassionate, loving mother of the merciful God, <coughs> have mercy on me and give me compunction and contrition of heart. Humility in my reasonings and the recall of my thoughts from their captivity, and deem me worthy till my last breath to receive without condemnation the sanctification of the Immaculate Mysteries and the healing of both soul and body. And grant me tears of repentance and confession that I may him and glorify the other days of my life. For blessed and glorified are done to the ages. Blessed and glorified are done to the ages. For blessed and glorified are done to the ages. Amen. Now let us all be serving the pardon, peace, and last according to our Lord. For my eyes have seen my salvation, which shall appear for the face of all peoples, the light of revelation, the nations, the glory of the blue is real. He is polite to us, but our holy God, holy mighty, holy mortal, and mercy in us, holy God, holy mighty, holy mortal, and mercy in us, holy God, holy mighty, holy mortal, and mercy in us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. O Holy Trinity, have mercy on us, Lord, be gracious unto our sins, Master, pardon our iniquities, Holy One, visit and heal our infirmities for thy name's sake. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, which art in the heavens, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto the ages of the ages. Amen. Grace shining forth from thy mouth like a beacon, hath illumined the universe, and disclosed to the world treasures of uncovetousness, and shown us the heights of humility, but whilst instructing us by thy words of Father John Chrysostom, intercede with the word Christ our God to save our souls. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. From the heavens has thou received divine grace, and by the lips thou dost teach all to worship the one God in Trinity, O John Chrysostom, O blessed righteous one. Rightly do we acclaim thee, for thou art a teacher revealing things divine, both now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. By the intercession, O Lord of all the saints, and the Theotokos, do thou grant us thy peace, and have mercy on us, since thou alone art compassionate. Lord of mercy, 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 Lord of mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. More honorable than the cherubim, and beyond compare, more glorious than the seraphim, who without corruption gave us birth to God the Word, the very Theotokos, do we magnify. In the name of the Lord, Holy Master, bless. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Holy Master, bless. By the intercessions of His All Immaculate, and all blameless Holy Mother of our Holy Patron, John Maximovich, Archbishop of San Francisco, the Wonder Worker, of the Holy and Righteous Ancestors of God, Joey Keeman, and of the Holy Heart of Martyr Denise, Syria, the Guide and Righteous Father, and your own most of you know whose memory we keep, and of our Father among the Saints, John Christus, the Archbishop of Constantinople, whose liturgy we have celebrated, and of all the saints, may mercy on us, the same for you, as good as a friend of man. <coughs> the Church is shown to be a many lighted heaven that will shine a guiding light upon all them that do believe. 
wherein while standing we cry aloud, do thou thyself now establish this house, O Lord, the foundation of them that walk in thee. O Lord, make steadfast the church which thou hast purchased with thy precious blood. Through the prayers of our Holy Master, Lord Jesus Christ, our God of mercy on us and save us. Amen.